Welcome YouTube and welcome stream. How we doing? Uh, it's February. Uh, it's a stupid name I came up with because I wanted to stream every day for a month and February was the shortest month. <laughs> so it seemed like the best time to stream every single day. Uh, but this year's theme, this is the first annual February. Uh, I don't know if I'll do this every year, but it's the first annual one. So if I do, then it's the first one. If I don't, it's the only one. Um, this year's theme, I thought I'd have a theme because I thought that'd be fun, is uh, Weep Year. Do you get it? Do you, do you get it? Do you get the joke? So <laughs> we're going to be playing a lot of very sad and very scary games. You know, sad, scary, startling, you know, uh, uh, sultry, sapphic. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to just be playing a lot of games that make me cry in some way. Um... Welcome, Crow. How we doing? It's me, the Crow. Welcome, dude. Uh, yeah. But yeah, streams every day for the month of February, hopefully. That's the... Uh, saucy. That's another one. I like that one. Um, that's the hope. We'll see if it works. I have school, <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see if it works. But, um, if you're watching the VOD, you already know this. If you're watching here, you probably already know this because it's in the... <laughs> it's in the thing. But the first game we're starting with is Beacon Pines. I've heard it's sad. I heard it's creepy. Uh, starry. I don't know what that one means. I made it up. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited. I mean, this is going to be fun. It's going to be so much fun. And uh, we're going to be, yeah, we're, I mean, let's just, honestly, would you guys mind if I just uh, got started? Let's just get started. I also did a reroll uh, if you feel like looking at it. Let's get started. Beacon Pines. And since we have, uh, time i'm gonna real quick i got a notification that one of my eggs is hatching in pokemon go so i just want to see where it is real quick <laughs> thank you very much shut up no shut up is here damn that's rough just rough baby i'm currently playing all right give me shut a sec up. i want to check my egg i want to know what i got oh it's just a two it's just a two kilometer egg what do we get oh god the ring light oh no how do i there we go what do we get what is that? I can't see it. You guys can probably see it way better. What is that? Oh, I cannot. You guys can't even see it. I'm looking on my own screen. It's a smoochum. Hell yeah. It evolves into a jinx. I only got nine candies for it. That's kind of messed up. Um, Now that I opened it, I got to catch this stuff real quick. Give me a sec. There's a gothra on my screen. Yo, any gothras in the chat? I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Um, Yeah, I've been playing a bit, bit of Pokemon Go because I've been on campus. And I don't have anything better to do. Jinx is so slay, and so is Gothra. Let's go. W's in the chat. Um, there's a sentry, but I don't really care about it. Let's start playing. <laughs> Let's start playing the game. Uh, I've heard it's very sad. I'm a little tired, guys. Not gonna lie. I've been uh, obviously you know on campus doing work and stuff. So uh, my mic is also just not in the optimal position. There it is. My headphones are going to keep falling out because I didn't bother fixing that yet. I know I should have. I know I could have. And I didn't. So that's kind of on me. But sorry, I'm checking some something. Give me a sec. How do I? What? Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. Yep. Anyway, let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Dear Beacon Binds, dear reader. Allow me to introduce oh, you to my book. there's actual narration. Normally I have to talk. I'm real glad I don't have to talk. It first appear like many books you've come across. It is far from ordinary. You may therefore have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. Oh, I know I'm Without special. You, there is no story. I don't really know much about this game. Real quick, I forgot to check. Does this game have missable achievements? I'm gonna have to replay it. Which, like, it should be fine if I have to replay it. I don't mind. Just want to check real quick, Breath. No missable achievements. That's pretty good. I'm okay with that. Okay, let's keep playing. Chapter one. You think we get a game volume boost? Yeah. Let me see if I can just yeah. Let's just do it over here. Um, um, um. How does that sound in comparison to me? 
That's fine. That's that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should be good. Okay, cool. Normal isn't what it used to be. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Oh my god, it's the name of the game. Guys. Far from the town square, Roll across credits. the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. <laughs> yeah, you can swear you could. It's only after the first minute of uh, recording. Alright, well. Nothing to see here, boys! Oh, I can't leave. <laughs> I was hoping. Oh, it's a grave! Oh. Hey, Dad! How are things going? Is it Animal Crossing? Today is the first day of summer vacation. I start middle school next year, I guess. I was six years old. Okay. <laughs> and it's been six years now. From here on out, you have been gone longer than you were here. It feels like that should mean something. Mom always said that this tree with your, was, was your favorite spot in the whole world. I added hold it in there. Bro, so, that's what I'm saying! It was literally out of nowhere. What happened? I mean, I guess you're out of grave, so like you would say stuff, but it was just real funny how quick they drop lore on us. Me too. Oh my god, it's a furry. Oh, hi. Hey, Luca. I knew I'd find you here. Rolo was Luca's closest friend. He possessed many fine Why does he have such a deeper voice? But subtlety was not one of them. <laughs> Um, okay. Well, after I banged on your door till your grand answered, and after I checked the pond, and after I climbed up the treehouse, and then I knew I'd find you here. Rolo finally noticed the tears welling in his friend's eyes, and the flowers on the grave. You dumb bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Your fucking dad's dead. <laughs> you and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday, and now she's gone too. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to- I, I called it out of nowhere, whoops. <laughs> I didn't know if you were going to keep doing it now that your mom's gone too. <laughs> I'm crying laughing. This is supposed to be a sad game. She's not gone! She's just... Missing. Sorry, I meant to say since she went missing. My bad. She's going to come back, Rolo. Of course she is. <laughs> My bad, kid. Sorry for the trauma. That water was so good, I need a second sip. I took a big gulp. Okay. Okay, Dad, see you next time. I think I'm ready to slam some- I think I'm ready to get out of here! I wasn't gonna say anything, guys. Sure, lead the way. I'm pretending like I'm the kid, so I can just be insane. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, can we? Oh my gosh, can we? You're ready to slam. Nothing. I d did I do something? What did I do? Achievement. Charmed life. Found a charm. Tickle. Is that from me? Wonderful. I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. That charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Got you, baby girl. Uh, okay. Uh, was that just for me? Okay, it was for me sneezing. Gotcha, gotcha. I looked away because I didn't really think that it was going to be a thing. I was just like, I'll, hey, it'll, it'll be fun if I just, like, uh, get rid of all these flowers. And I just did it on accident. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you. I was wondering if you'd ever get to that. I found the perfect way to start our summer. How's that? Lolo looked to the side suspiciously. Not here. They... Might be watching. They who? <laughs> Are they gonna assassinate me like JFK? <laughs> Shh! No, no, it's so loud. <laughs> we need to do this in a secure location. <laughs> Mission control. All right, I just have to tell Gran, and then we can head out. <laughs> They're gonna blow his brains out. No. What are you going to tell her? 
<laughs> I don't know. I'll think of something. <laughs> if it's all the same to you, I'll meet you at the welcome sign. <laughs> Your grand still kind of wings me out. Wigs me out? What? That's not even a term. I don't do well with new people. She moved in like half a year ago. Just meet me at the sign when you're done. Suit yourself. I won't be long. Okay. <laughs> I make myself laugh so much. Okay. Any secrets? Secrets? Any secrets? Okay. All right. Thank you. Any, any, any. Oh, what is that? Oh my God. I look so cool. Guys, look how fucking cool I am. Too bad my parents are dead, am I right? <laughs> cool guys don't look at dead parents. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? Oh my god, this is just like Bo Burnham when they go like, interlude, and then he goes, Hey, you wanna suffer from depression? Here we go. Um, <laughs> we're gonna get to the sad part and you're gonna be laughing your ass off the whole time. Guys! Look, <laughs> I'm like, I'm a little bit tired. It's making me goofy. <laughs> Mickey Mouse when he divorces Minnie because she's fucking goofy. Remember that charm you found? There yes. There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. I assume so. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Okay. Some of them can be found in this very house. Oh my god, Laura. What's this? Just some dusty knickknacks. Okay. It's nice that I asked what's this and she answered. That doesn't always happen. Can I go out this door? I can. Oh my! I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first... There are certain times in this tale Turning when point. everything hinges on a single step forth, dear reader. A sturdy old wheelbarrow. <laughs> Jeez, girly. <laughs> yeah, calm down. We just met, dog. Beginner's guide to gardening, laid open. <laughs> right, well, I don't want to do that yet. Young Luca would spend hours hiding in the bushes, waiting for a chance to jump out and... She always enjoyed humoring him by feigning terror. Okay. I want to go back and look for On these the charms. On the other hand, I suppose there's no reason. Gran will be waiting when... Yeah, I know. Imagine she dies while I'm gone. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. Um, of all of my family's dead. I don't know why I'd say that. With a, day of <laughs> a pair of dull scissors. Okay, all right. I did it. That's a that's a charm, baby. Oh my god, I can jump. Oh my god, I can flood the house. Let's go, Hitman. You guys ever play Hitman and just start flooding places? Let's go. The only piece of furniture. Okay. I can jump, guys. I feel like jumping is such a, like, they don't, people don't add that to the game often. I like that we can. Since Gran had moved in and more covered in. Okay. One of his father's old stuff, Luca had spent countless hours listening, not for years. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so comfortable. Oh my god, another charm, baby! Let's go. I... Can I get one on that stump then? Gran had already lit the fire. She kept a warm house. What if- do I have to wait super long at that stump to get it? I just want to try. Lucan knew that if he left without- t Okay, fine. I'll check after. God damn. Luca paused at his- he just wasn't ready to go in. Oh, what is that? Knock! Maybe they'll say something. Gran had commandeered the upstairs. Some things need shelter from a young- Aw, another charm, baby, let's go! This is easy shit, baby, let's go. I love collectibles. <laughs> it's Ari Feb, fuck your mothers! It's also, it would be Ari Febu, by the way, just so you, like, uh, anyway. Um, Luca tossed on him, even though it was the first day of summer. That's another one! Yeah, Eki. Yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> Grand's moving in meant that most of Lu Luca was. Don't be annoyed. Your grandmother's the only person taking care of you. <laughs> Your parents are dead. Grand's bed was. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep. It meant that he could read late. Oh, they share a room. Okay. Alright, I think we're good. We got every charm we can. Did we win? 
There's definitely achievement to get every charm, right? I wouldn't know because everything's a goddamn secret in this game. Cool. I don't get to know anything. Oh, the sink's still on. Grant, I'm wasting your hot water. You got something to say to me. Is there any secrets over here? Ooh, I see something. Oh, no, that's literally just her. Okay. Hey, Gran, I'm gonna go hang out with Rolo for the day. Hang with Rolo for the day. I'm gonna go hang Rolo for the day. See you later. She looks so beautiful and wise. Oh my god, look at her character. She's so cool. I love her. Hold up now. Where are you and Rolo headed exactly? Oh, nowhere special. The less Gran knew, the better for everyone involved. Cool. I didn't get to sit on the stump again. What the fuck? We we're gonna go. Oh, 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 oh. I was saying woe to her design, but then you said that. <laughs> Guys, what would we? What do we do today? I like that you can choose different charms. That's really cool. Are we gonna go ponder for the day? Are we gonna go hide for the day? Or are we gonna go chill for the day? I feel like hide is too mischievous and chill is too fucking boring. So ponder. I think we're gonna show her how intellectual and smart and funny we are. I'm so quirky. We were just gonna go ponder for the day. I'm pondering. Okay, I thought it was gonna like, or like, I don't know, do something where I couldn't go back and that would have just been very upsetting to me and hurt my feelings. I'm gonna go ponder. It'd be real cool if my hair could <laughs> stop pissing me off. <laughs> Sorry. So pondersome? I'm fucking awesome is what I am. We're just gonna go ponder for the day. Oh, wait, what was her voice? Oh, really? What are you boys going to ponder on such a lovely day exactly? That was not this her voice in the Lucas beginning. I lost it. It's gone. Alibi. Um, you know, uh, big stuff. Small stuff. Medium, mostly medium pondering. Nailed it. Well, make sure you don't overburden yourself with a preponderance so of pondering. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I make myself laugh, and that's all I really need. Who says ponder in an actual character? On in an actual okay, that makes more sense. In an actual conversation, unless you're a Freaking fictional character. So now you use freaking, but before you can drop some motherfucking f bombs, and that's totally fine. Okay, interesting. You are, you are, you contrast yourself, darling. What? I don't know why I called you that. <laughs> oh, forget it. Off with you now. Impressive. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. That is the power of charms. A single word can change everything. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. Okay. okay. The Chronicle is a record of the decisions Sorry. you've made. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> you can see the turning point which has been revealed. <laughs> At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. Luckily for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. See, that's why I use ponder is because it's not a word you'd use. Like, chill and... I'm getting a text? Chill and hide are great. But, um... Ponder is just like, okay. That's a weird one. Why would you start with that one? I don't know. Um... What is it? It's a record of the decisions and then you... And, and, and then... And when... And, and, and when you... And then... And... You want him to do you so much that you would do anything? Um, okay, new, new branches. That's cool. I can do that. This is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter it's fate. The Thank you. Perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. So what you're saying is that that's not a turning point. Like it's just not. Also, like if, like in that case, every single conversation I have would have a turn a turning point, but like none of them matter. It's just okay. Yeah. F hey. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Get fucked. How about that? I actually really like this game. I'm not gonna lie. We were just gonna go we hide. We are just for the gonna day. go hide. Traditionally, hide? when one is trying to hide something. See, that's why I didn't use it. Yeah, I guess roll a bet some other kids so we could beat them at hide and seek. Aren't you a little old for that? 
It's not like there's much else to do around here. Well, make sure you boys are done playing your little game in time for supper. All's well that ends well. Can we name the narrator? Can someone give her a name, please? You know what? It's gonna be Ellie. Yo, Ellie. E L L I. Yeah. By by the way, just yeah. I know it's not a reference, but the word ponder has been said only four times in my Discord. Okay. All right. Just bring up your Discord, guys. Everyone, guys, guys, go check out Ellie's Discord, guys. <laughs> Beatrix, Beatrix is nice. It's not Ellie though. E L L I A L Elia. Okay. Interesting name. Did I say that? I might have said that. I genuinely oh. might have. Oh, and Luca. Uh, I there shouldn't be old people in games because I always do the same voice. <laughs> Name the narrator celestial penis. Let's go. I love I love I was gonna say I love penis, but I don't want that as a clip. <laughs> I'd rather not. You and Rolo stay out of trouble. I know, I know. <laughs> Great, get into trouble with Rolo. Let's go, baby. I already started trouble with the sink. Alright, let's guy. I'm gonna clear it clear up that. Okay, well. Learn to type bozo. Can we get a charm here? What happens if I just sit here? Yo, it's celestial penis in the chat. Let's go. Can I get a charm? Are you guys excited for 29 straight days of streams? Well, maybe some of them can be a little gay. You know? Not all straight days, but can this okay. This headphones are just not gonna stream. Okay, well. Rude. Yeah, I'm not getting a charm there. Okay, that's just rude. <laughs> that one's to you, Ellie. Even though Ellie uses it against me, that one's to you. <laughs> For talking about your damn Discord. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, come on. Okay, well. <laughs> to the people in my uh, VOD or whatever, everyone is... Everyone is spamming the shut up. It's not just Crow. Anyway. Dang it, Rolo! All right, I'm not gonna follow him. Wait, I wanna see what's For here. For a town that saw a few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary. Am I gonna get charmed this is grand? No, okay. I wanna see what's here first. The road leading to Beacon Pines was long and uninspiring. A sort of natural barrier for the impatient. Always yell at Ari no matter what you're doing. Hey guys, you're so mean. Uh, sorry, give me a sec. Okay. I am impatient. Let me go this way. Let me go! Okay. Uh, what's up? Uh, I don't know how to say that name. What do you want me to do with that, bro brother? <laughs> Wisms. Let's go, Wisms in the chat. <laughs> Welcome! Ooh. Yelling at Arya is greater than chicken? Thank you! That feels like a compliment, to be honest. Like... Anyway. What, what have you- what, Ew! <laughs> Shut up! You know the drill. Ooh. Don't let anyone discover our secret path. <laughs> Great, thanks. Chapter 2 Oh my god, yo, we're running through this. Welcome to Beacon Pines. For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. All right, Beatrix, I'm going to stop you right there. Hey, Google, how many chapters in Beacon Pines? Shut up! I don't need to know more. Shut up. I know how this works. I, here's the thing. It's one of the, it's out of all of the smart devices Shut that, up. okay. All right. <laughs> out of all of the devices that are made to Shut record up. everything you say, basically, and also answer some questions. Um, this one's the best. I had the Alexa and it sucks. Hey Alexa, buy 16 condoms in case any of you guys were listening on your speakers. Out of all of them, this one's the best. But we need more emotes. I, I know I'm not good at making art, <laughs> but this one always has something extra to say and I need it to shut up. <laughs> I need it to shut up. <laughs> anyway, 
It wasn't until on, Beatrix. Shepherd Valentine built his fertilizer company that Beacon Pines was established. I only have four. I know, and I didn't draw any of them. <laughs> I think they're all from fans. <laughs> if you guys want to make art, go for it. But I cannot pay. Oh, wait, no, that's oh, that's a lie. Two of them are from Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> they're not even from fans i just stole them yeah i can't pay so i gotta make some so but i don't have time to make any so they're just sitting there all the slots are sitting there and they're just empty i'll make some i'll make some i want to make one that was just um what a save because <laughs> because i like say i don't play rocket league i just like saying what a save just whenever someone does anything stupid. What a save, what a save, what a save. Anyway, you are a fan. Oh, thank you. Thanks, baby girl. Anyway, let's keep going. Over the next 30 <laughs> years, the town had grown and prospered until. You know what else has grown and prospered? You got, hey, got, you know what? Sudden death. <laughs> what? Oh, the dad? Maybe? In the six years since, everyone was simply trying to get by. Oh. Okay. That got real dark for my, my giggly bitch nature. Guys, that harvest looking pretty foul. Oh my god, Crow. I was literally making the same joke as well. <laughs> like, I know I didn't say it because I just said the word foul, but in my head I was going foul. You know? <laughs> what you got to say? Sorry, Mr. Van Horn can't talk now. Very busy with preparations. Fair Augustus Valentine was not busy. Oh, sorry, Gus. How many times do I? It's a mayor of Flustered, Gus instinctively loosened his tie. Run away! Keep up the good work. I must merely attend. Briefly, that's not what it said. Briefly attend to a concerned citizen. Huh? It's nothing. Keep at it. All right. What can the mayor of Beacon Pines do for you today? Are you dyslexic? I don't think so. But these streams aren't really helping my case. Oh. Uh. It's just saying hi, I guess. Sorry, I did that right into the mic. And like, I realized after that I'm not just in a Discord call. Because <laughs> every time I'm in a Discord call, I'm just burping into the mic. Like a disgusting bitch. Anyway. <laughs> well, good day to you, young Mr. Van Horn. Can I talk to you separately? I can. Hey, Mr. Care. Uh, uh. Hi there, pal. William Kerr was the CEO of Perennial Harvest Company. He had become a fixture around town over the past few Millennium years. Millennium Harvest Come? <laughs> I cut it off at the wrong time. That was really funny. After the failing of Valentine Fertilizer, the town was hungry to welcome a new source of employment. <laughs> I love chat. I love having chat on screen so everyone can see what happens. Uh, uh, uh. Excited for the big festival? <laughs> Come on now, when I was your age, there was nothing more exciting, exciting, I said inciting, exciting than a town festival. The food, the music, the dancing. Sounds pretty alright. <laughs> You're gosh darn right it is, kid. I'm gonna murder you. I'm looking forward to letting off some steam myself. Make sure to invite all your little friends. M make sure to invite all your little friends. I can't keep rolling away if I tried. <laughs> Excellent. Sorry, Luca. I've got to get back to the proverbial grindstone. Harvest <laughs> awaits and all that. Oh, no. Really? Really out here sounding like ooh, ooh. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Anyway. I honestly thought you were going to go with ooh, ooh, ah, ah, and I was going to joke about you calling me a monkey when I'm brown, but I, you didn't do that, so now I can't, like, accuse you of racism, which sucks. <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the left side's a little low. <laughs> clip it, clip it. Yo, every <laughs> screenshot it. Screenshot it, send in Ellie UFO or whatever. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> uh, out of context Ellie. What's this? Ugh, I'm so cool. Well, give me a charm. Why do you let me do that? Why do you let me do things that I don't need to do? Is there anything else? Is there anything in the trash can? Okay, nope. Okay, yeah, I know he is. I just thought, I didn't know if you knew he was. So, you know, 
Can't go in perennial harvest come. Uh, it's me. So I guess that's just my voice, right? <laughs> like, it looks like me. So, Mr. Van Horn, do you have a moment? It's just Luca. Golly, I'm... S s <laughs> Golly in my accent is so funny. Golly, I'm sorry. It's my first week at Perennial Harvest. He pulled a pen from the pocket of his sweater vest and began to frantically <laughs> jot something down on a clipboard. Yo, Golly, dude. Wonderful. It won't happen again. If we're going to be on a first name basis, then you can call me Pete. Oh, nice to meet you, Ari. How'd you know? What the hell? So sorry, what are you waiting for? Or what are you writing? How did I hear? How did I hear? I'm all over the place. How did I read waiting for? There weren't two words there. It was one word. <laughs> yeah, Crow, again, streaming does not help my case. Oh, just documenting. Gosh, it's exciting to be a part of something so fucking special. <laughs> you know, it's not just about new fountains and phone boots. We're gonna change the world. It all starts here in Beacon Pines. Isn't that amazing? Uh-huh. Anyway, I'd better get back. Oh, that reminds me. We'd love to hear your thoughts. My my thoughts? You bet. If we're gonna change this town, we need to get every detail right. That sounds intense. Ha ha ha. Changing the world is intense. So what, what do you say? Could you answer a few questions? Well, I guess if it's quick. Wonderful. Open to answering a few questions. One down. See, it's not that hard, is it? Uh, oh, okay, we're going already. Question two. What is something you love about Beacon Pines? I've never really thought about it before. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. It's the only place I've lived. See, that wasn't so painful. Pete stopped scribbling and glanced up from the clipboard. Was it? Uh, uh I guess not. Huzzah! Our first three questions answered in record time. Are you literally writing down everything? Thank you so much for your time. I need to process these answers. We can save the rest of your thoughts for later. Uh, okay. Our harvest awaits. Yeah, he's a real freak just like me, for real. On God, no cap. For real, for real, on God. Come on, Andy, grab his wallet! My racism cannot be the last message in chat. Kuro left just so that he would always be remembered as the racist. I'm sorry, yeah, I can't. Do it or we pound you. Yup. Yeah, but my mom said, yeah, but, yeah, but. If I had a nickel for every yeah, but, I'd be the freaking king of nickels. Ain't that right, Tish? Yup. Oh my god. Alright, and last guy. Okay, that was a real easy one. Uh, why'd you have to talk to him? Hey, Mr. Sinclair! Mr. Sinclair continued snoring and lifted one eyelid just enough to see who it was. A tactic he often used to avoid undesirable conversation. On God, dude. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Sinclair! Bah! Don't you see I'm sleeping, boy? How's the napping today? Grummy as always. Used to have a perfectly nice view from here. Till perennial harvest put that monstrosity of a building in the way. Why don't you just move your chair a bit? Why should I be the one that moves? If it's a showdown they want, I ain't gonna be the one who blinks. <laughs> okay. Alright. I like this game. I'm enjoying it. The stream, like, I'm half paying attention. It just sounds like a dis <laughs> into a decent, a decent into madness. Oh my god. Hello. Hey, Jetson. Is the line playing any tunes? Why do they talk like this? Nobody's just bored, it, I'm afraid. Come to think of it, I can't remember the last time I reeled one in. But hey, it was never about to catch. This is the way I come to think. Yeah, that's what my dad used to do here. That reminds me. If you ever run his chair back, I'm st I've taken a standing recently. Keep me from uh, falling asleep at the reel. If you don't mind, I think it should stay. Not at all. An empty chair makes for a great listener. Whenever Luca saw his dad's chair by the pond, it reminded him of the days they'd pack up a couple of sandwiches and fish <laughs> until sundown. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> Sorry, I really... Oh, I needed that. I needed it. Oh, my... Luca opened the tackle box and picked the perfect bait. What? 
What do you mean? What do you what do you mean by that? What? What? Tickle. Luca gently baited a feather onto the hook. Good for skimming the surface. Okay. Luca tied a shoestring to the hook. What fish could resist a nice shoestring? I feel like that's the play. That feels like the play. I spent f four hours at the dentist today? I didn't know- I didn't hear from you that you were gonna do that. Did you get a root canal? It'd be really funny to me if you got a root canal. What happened? Why were you there for so long? Uh, I don't know what to give voice to like this dead dad. It wasn't- was it actually a root canal? <laughs> dead ass? Did I guess it? That's so awesome. <laughs> why is it that everybody like I know right if you know multiple languages you should just know them it, like why even how could you ever mess up in your life just know them it's so easy I'm unplugging my mic and I really shouldn't do that <laughs> broke a tooth because I'm an idiot and I let a cavity get pretty bad how did I not hear about this until now we don't talk enough man <laughs> we, apparently we don't talk enough what the heck oh my gosh get checked out yeah dude yeah that's kind of crazy so there's this podcast that i listen to and one of the hosts he's had like a million root canals and it's just a story every time because it's always it just, his teeth get worse and worse like it he just constantly it's super expensive it takes forever it's painful ex all that stuff so when ellie was like i went to the dentist i was just like it'd be really it'd be funny to me because of what i listen to that <laughs> you know <laughs> Um, anyway. <laughs> give it a good cast. No. I didn't know what to give his voice. I feel like it should be something nice and sweet because he's dead. But, you know. I got really in faster. Okay, okay, I can, I, can, I can do that. I can do that. Let's try this again, baby. Oh, I gotta get more bait. Luca tied. What fish? I think the shoestring is the win. Why does every game feel the need to do a fishing mini game? That's just all I'm asking. <sighs> you speak a language and a half. Dude, get dunked on. Where do you think the other one is? Hard to say. Sold. Uh, hey, oh, I turn it, boys. Sometimes things just drift away. <laughs> my, my trigger word for the Australian accent now is just, oh, I turn it, boy. Shut up. All right. Shut up, celestial penis. <laughs> That's not fair. Oh, I know it's not. Well, wherever it is, I hope that other boot has a, at least has a sock to keep it company. Luca gently baited a good first. So I can do both of them. Okay, I was worried I wouldn't be able to do do that, but that's fine. Why does every game feel the need to have a fishing ring game? That's all I'm asking. It's always the same shit too. Like this is just Sea of Thieves and. Uh, uh, Spirit Fairer and uh, it's essentially what Stardew Valley is. It's a little more complicated than Minecraft. It's just it's the same stuff every time. What the heck? We'll all be switched. It's your old rubber ducky. You were just a little drooling ball of fur when you lost that. Cried for two for for two days. I told you it'd turn up. <laughs> all right, bye. The one that needed a fishing minigame was Zelda Best of the Wild, but no, instead they gave us the ability to electrocute a bunch- That's sick as fuck, though. That's great. That's- that's awesome. Mission control. Authorized personnel only. Okay, so that's gonna be our- our- our man. Let's go. See, that seems like fun. You would get to just electrocute the fish. That's awesome. I wish I had a treehouse. I was going to make one once, and we ended up just putting a bunch of tape in the forest, and then we had to clean it up later. <laughs> we didn't do anything. Knowing. It was just cardboard and tape just sitting in the in the trees. I wish we could have fished because the game has that chill vibe. Like, I guess, but like, just do it in any other video game ever. <laughs> like, they all have something for fishing. I just don't know why every game needs one. I don't know. 
No, I really... Here's the thing. Okay. Breath of the Wild is a good game to have it. I get that. Because it's kind of like more open world. Like, Minecraft is good to have it. Stardew, I don't fully get. But, like, I guess. Because it's like you're, cult, like, you're farming, you're fishing. It's all kind of the same vibe. This one, I don't get it. This one's not open world. It's not... Like, why'd you have to do that? So this is the only game I want fish again. Okay. That's, that's a little much. I'm not gonna completely erase fishing. I... I just don't want it in every game. <sighs> Why? Okay. Is it just me or are there more ad breaks recently? Am I, I, I have it set to not do it that much and I just feel like it's doing it a decent amount. Unless you guys aren't getting them. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Anyway. The boys had a good thing as going. As long as they kept old Jeff happy. Oh my god, Jeff. He's the guy who gets the root canals. They had an endless source of precious materials to add to the treehouse. Ah, yes. Trash. Gotta go. Alright, bye, penis. Thanks for coming. <laughs> I wonder why she's leaving. <laughs> Everyone... <laughs> Alright. I'm actually blowing myself up bombs and fluff shrine challenges because of joystick drift. Yeah, yeah, because of the drift. It's because of the drift. It's so true, Bessie. It's, yep. Is this the way down? Yep. I don't know why I bothered even clicking it. I just saw the button and I was like, ooh, will that give me a charm? Okay. Nothing there. On certain nights, when the clouds were just right, the boys could tune into Rolo thinks it's aliens. He always thinks it's aliens. He's like the, like that one, like that guy. Lucas winter coat decommissioned for the summer. With the cold holding out longer than usual, he recon- Oh my god, they have global warming in this world too? What the heck? Why are you, why are you doing that to us? Okay, what's this top secret plan to start our summer? So, you know the abandoned warehouse by my place? The old Valentine building? Yeah, well, it isn't abandoned. What makes you think that? Get this. Last night, it was glowing. Glowing? Are you sure? Kinda. That place has been empty since... Since the fowl harvest? Yeah. Who would even want to poke around that place? We would, Rolo. We would. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let me tell you something. It's just a busted hope warehouse. I just bet we could do some research at the library. You want to actually go to the warehouse? What do you expect to find? Answers. My mom's out there somewhere. <laughs> what? And it seems like everyone wants to pretend that she's gone for good. So I'm going to go insane about it. You don't have to come roll if you... You don't have to do what now? You don't have to come roll... You don't have to do what? Sorry, I'm not going to get through this line. I'm just going to skip that. If you don't want to... <laughs> Luca, remember that time I sort of accidentally burned down the chicken coop? And you jumped in and said it was your fault before my pod murdered me and drowned me in the lake that you just fished in this is a flaming chicken coop sort of deal i've got your back thanks Ro thanks rollo now that i think about it poking around a decrepit fertilizer warehouse is exactly how i want to spend the first day of summer you're a real fucking weird schmuck <laughs> you're a weird kid bud oh my gosh i'm just checking real quick okay so the change Ari's voice is kind of a bad one for this one because I speak in a different voice anyway. But, okay, there's no push-ups and there's no... Okay, all right, all right, sick, sick, sick. Oh, you know what I can totally do? I can make myself a VIP, that's cool. Anyway, yeah, there's no... I don't have to do any push-ups or sit-ups sit this stream. I was a little worried. Oops. Oops. Let me out. <laughs> How do I get out? Oh, oh, I, have to, I can open it and close it. That is not something I realized. That's my bad, guys. Where's this warehouse? Uh, oh, it's this way. Okay. What's up, little man? <sighs> I'm just catching my breath a little. Go on, I'll catch up. Okay. Oh my god. So much more stuff to explore. Can't go in town hall. Okay. They don't allow children there. Ooh, oh my god. You're giving me too many options of places to go. Why are you doing this to me? Wait, can I go this way too? <laughs> Luca, just the fellow I was looking for. Hey, Roxy, what's up? Oh, right. Rendezvous with Roxy. 
This is an important turning point. Oh, the why would you do give this to me now? Your charms will change the course of fate. And currently, we only have one suitable charm at our disposal. Have no fear, we can always return later using the Chronicle once we find more charms. Well, now I'm just rambling. Where were we? Have you seen... Have you seen my blockhead brother today? <laughs> he skipped out before breakfast. Well, not really, no. Can't say I have. <laughs> I can't say or won't say. Roxy, would I lie to you? Oh. Look, oh wait up. I almost forgot to tell you. Roxy might be looking around here. This is one of her favorite places to stand around and be useless. Ellie, thank you for the sub. Uh, sorry. Apparently, it didn't want to register that you subbed. Give me a sec. Let me just figure out why that's doing that. I, I probably am not... Is no stream... Guys, I don't know why sometimes everything just doesn't like me, you know? Every time someone subs for the first time, it just doesn't... I want to get rid of stream elements. I want it out of my... I want it to not be a thing I use, because I feel like it's stream elements. It might be. It might be. It might be Twitch. Anyway, Ellie, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, my boy. Even if Twitch doesn't, I appreciate you. Just lazy. Dude, same, honestly. Also, I have school. You have no excuse. Rolo! So we need to make sure she doesn't spot us. R Rolo! Why are you doing that turning thing with your body? What, you're not scared, are you? She's harmless. And a chump. And she's right around that corner, isn't she? Uh, yep, I did what I needed to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> don't mind me! Just over here lurking uselessly. I don't know what voice to give her. Oh, hey, sis. Nice weather we're having, eh? I mean, like, her little, like, boop, 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 is, like, kind of deeper. So maybe I give her a deeper voice. I couldn't help but to notice you snuck out this morning for breakfast. Wasn't hungry. Also couldn't help but notice your morning chores were left unchort. Roxy, I'm gonna level with you. I'm sick and tired of digging up carrots. We all gotta pick up the slack before the flower harvest. Almost every carrot I dig up is rotten, and the rest look like they were hit with ink atomics. Trink array. All the more reason to keep digging. There's got to be more to life than puny carrots. Look, Roxy, Luke and I have places to be, so if you don't mind... Oh, I do mind. I'm not going to catch hell again because of you. So either you march yourself home and harvest the carrots, or I'll, I'll, I'll haul you... I haul you home myself. Oh, my gosh. Rolo froze as Roxy took a step toward him, it's cracking her knuckles. Impossible to read. It's impossible. Luca it's not just me. I think everyone. It's from reading being dragged home. Easy. Let's be all chill, bro. In the past, he out. found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. Just gotta be all chill, bro. Come on, Roxy. It's the first day. Of I was like, I went quiet because I was trying to figure out what the voice was again. <clears throat> Sorry, I really need water. I- oh my gosh. I talk too much. <clears throat> the sun's shining and we just want to take it easy. Let's leave tomorrow's problems for tomorrow. That's great and all, but the Rolo's problems have a way of becoming my problems. And Pa always says tomorrow's work is best left for yesterday. March, you big oaf. All right. I expect a full report about the Valentine place. A full report. <coughs> Excuse me. Investigate the Valentine warehouse alone. I'm gonna get murdered tonight. Let's go. I'm gonna get murdered in this warehouse tonight in Valentine's Day. It's almost Valentine's Day. We got two weeks left. I'm gonna spend it alone again. Anyway. So Fitz, what are you up to this lovely day? Nope. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. <laughs> nope, it's such a funny response. Is that supposed to be like a like a preppy like like a uh, popular girl? Is that like the vibe? The way she responded makes me think that. Nope. And then his just like or wait, is is Luca Luca's a girl. And then Luca's just like <laughs> her just thing of like, well, never mind. All right, all right, all right. Wilder ran the local paper of record. The Beacon Beacon. 
Oh, you're a journalist. Interesting. How much fake news do you spread? Hey, Mr. Wilder. Uh, what's a, like a... How do you do that? How do you do a transatlantic accent? Guys, how do you do a trans accent? How do you do a transatlantic... Transatlantic accent? Or was it, is it mid... It, yeah, yeah. That was like the... That was a classic. Hang on. Can I... Let's just watch one of these. Now tell me, you've forsaken your... Now tell me. Morning, Luca. What's today have in store for you? <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you heard any news about news. The bacon breaker knows the news it needs knowing. Any news about the old fertilizer warehouse? Uh, nope. No. Rolo thought he saw some lights there last night. <laughs> Rolo ought to be careful. Punk. I lost it immediately. <laughs> Luca's Luca's born. Yeah, Luke. Well, yeah, Luca was born. So you know. Or are you saying like Jason Bourne? Because that's a, a weird crossover between those two genres. Never make a spelling mistake. <laughs> Never in my chat. You're not allowed. <laughs> I'll catch it immediately. Um, what? I already lost the transatlantic. Ad I can't say the word. I already lost. I figured it. Um. What was it? Uh, uh, Rollo ought to be careful poking around that t part of town. The winds of change are blowing, and change is a dangerous animal. Ooh. New new word. Guys, I'm learning new words every day. Are you transatlantic phobic? Are you a transatlantic phobe? I just can't say the word. I can't say it, no matter how hard I try. Hey, Mrs. Nelson. Good morning, Luca. Any big plans for the summer? Not really. Heard anything about that old uh, where fertilizer warehouse? Any strange happenings? Can't say I have. Either way, a dusty old warehouse has no place for a young boy. You'd be safe now. I think it's very funny that he's going around asking everyone about this thing. So when he ends up dead, everyone will be like, yeah, he. well, yeah, he was at the warehouse. We all know it because... He asked all of us <laughs> what happened there. Miss Hatch could often be found near the fountain, too absorbed in a book to be distracted. Leave her alone. The two wandered down the wooded path, unaware of the danger ahead. Oh! Oh, this is getting good! <laughs> I love her. I hope she is what I am when I grow up. Please do a British accent. This is... I Well, I knew this was Sophia. Thanks, Sophia. Appreciate it. Uh, British accent. Oh, let me see. Let's, uh, uh, pick one of the characters to do one with. Hey, Zeriel! Hi, Luca! I, okay, here's the thing. I want to keep doing the British accent, so I don't want to do it for one of these non-characters, because then I won't be able to do it anymore. Although, maybe you guys will be happier if I don't do it all the time. <laughs> Could you please tell this lazy butt to help out in the cafe? Um, Lumi Zeriel would like you... Hang on, you get the... So my trigger word for British accent is bottle water. Luca, let me give you a little jab of a voice. If you never do what you don't love, then you'll never work a day in your life. Wow. <laughs> you really send the kid up for success. <laughs> um, Piper? Oh, hey, Luca, what's up? <laughs> what's good? You know it's summer break, right? Of course. Uh... <laughs> I don't know why I turned this kid into a stoner. Do a London Road man accent? Are those furry lesbians? Um, I have no idea. I thought they were shop owners. Maybe they're all three. Central C type vibe. Dude, I don't know what that means. Is that what Bishop... Oh, no. It's what Bishop and Daisy were doing last year, right? It's just the... Uh... Oh, no. I'm not doing that because I feel like it's... First of all feel like it might come off racist because I don't <laughs> second of all I had no idea what they would say I had they would say words they would make noises really I they never said words they never made sentences and like I wanted to fly to New Zealand to, to fight Bishop because <laughs> he did it for so long <laughs> and it's like the morning correct and you're studying like they say, 
The early bird gets the proper education required for a successful and fulfilling career later in life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this kid's a stoner. <laughs> I've decided. But like a really smart stoner. Like, always working hard. Working hard. What am I... There's too many places to explore, and I... Here's the thing. I was hoping it'd be kind of a small... Just like, just like a small, like, I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be like, not that many characters. I touched the thing that said no touching. I'm going to do it again, too. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I fucking knew it. Oh, my God. Could I use smack on, on that girl's Zoe? Or whatever her name was. I already lost it. Achievement. Let's go. Hit the watermelon 20 times. Let's go, baby. Hey, Griffin. How's the ice cream gig going? Is my audio lower? I don't know why I said that so dramatically. Is my audio... <laughs> like, chill out, bro. It's okay. It's gonna be alright. That's why. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that was so dramatic for no reason. Uh, not great. It's still pretty cold out. And it, I'm in the business of selling cold. I'm sure things will warm up soon. Mrs. Mr. Tolliver's not at his grocery stand. He's prepping. He oh wait. Uh uh he's prepping for his festival, I guess. Gotcha. Um why did they add global warming to this game? I wanted it to just I thought it'd be fun and silly, and now I <laughs> am feeling uh unquestionable fear of death. Anyway. What's good, G? Hey Bert! Oh, what's What's Bart Simpson's voice? Eat my shorts. I look up. <laughs> That's not what he sounds like. I haven't wa not watched The Simpsons. I'm sorry. Eat my shorts. I'm doing some fact fact checking for the town history exhibit. Look, kid, I'm just I'm just here to put up the lights. But did you know when the town was founded, there were only seven citizens, and they were all working for a mining company. And there was only one dirt road reading, leading to road, reading to what? <laughs> I, I lost it. I, I'm losing it, baby. I'm losing it. <laughs> reading to road, leading to town. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> and there's still only, you know, one road leading to town. All right. I like this Bart kid, dude. <laughs> That's a fun. <laughs> this is why you sound like William. Thanks, man. The choked is real. I'm choking myself trying to do that one. I think that one of these days I'm going to pass out from voice acting. Uh, sorry, voice acting. <laughs> one of these days I'm knocking out. <sighs> I, I like I need to take bigger breaths to to like survive anyway. Hey, Don. Sorry to wake you. <sighs> oh, we finally got like a cutscene cutscene. I didn't know you could do this voice. I had to double take because it wasn't you. <laughs> Dude, I can do voices. I I have I have a, a bit of range because like I constantly do voices for these streams now. So I've like <laughs> I've been working into a bit of a range, I think. Um, What do we do for this for this person? Dawn had dreams of becoming a big-time reporter. At night, she searched for the story that could be her big break. By day, she hawked papers at the newsstand. Rollo said he saw something strange going at the warehouse. You know anything about that? So what's going on? Okay. Things seem to be quiet in town today. In town today. Catch you then. I'm just grateful that you tried. <laughs> If 
if no one's gonna clip that, I'm gonna clip it. I mean, come on. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I love that. I had a lot of fun doing that. <sighs> I'm gonna die in this stream. I wonder how that sounded for you guys. I, Cause I, you know what? I forgot to, that was the most annoying thing I've ever heard. Wait, if I do it, now I can hear myself. So if I do it, yeah, that sounds exactly how I thought it would. Um, yeah, just checking. <laughs> hmm. Guess Mrs. Fratelli is getting ready for the festival. I don't know how I'm gonna get through this stream. Sharper Valentine, founder of Beacon Pines. Never estimate, never, never estimate what a great man can do given time. Sharper Valentine. A bit much. It's not a terrible thing for ask asking. Me. Thanks, thanks, Sophia. <laughs> Indulgent. Okay. Can we try some of these different words now? I want to try. Oh, the only word I still have is chill. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I still have to do it. I In thought past, I could back out. He found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy. Shut up. I already heard this. I know. I know. Thank you very much. <sighs> okay. Okay. Cool. Maybe we never go back and talk to that kid. How about that, right? <laughs> nope. I love that. Okay. Look at all these words we got, guys. I do like that we can learn new words. Hey guys, welcome to Ari's English class. <laughs> the word tickle is, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry, I had like a good burp and it kind of went away, but I was so prepared and I just lost it. Word of the day is tickle. Hey Solomon. I clicked the wrong button. Apologies, no time for chit chat. Bark, bark. I'm part of the CIA. Jeff's hard <laughs> I was part of the JFK. <laughs> I was part of the JFK assassinated. Assassinated? Assassination. Tico come... What? T Tico does what now after test? That's crazy. <sighs> I'm so unfunny. I did that joke to Sophia like twice. <laughs> she's, a, she's a college friend, if you guys can tell. Uh, Sophia, don't dox us, please, by the way. Just so you know. <laughs> In case you weren't aware, when you're in chat, don't say anything about where we live or any real people's names. <laughs> don't say anything. Just in case. Is that Sophia no last name? This is a bit that even I don't know. I I don't know what you're talking about. This, this I think this is an Ellie Discord thing that he's just bringing over here, maybe. Um... No idea what you're fucking yapping about. <laughs> oh, I did show you the phone contact thing. Yeah, that's her. <laughs> I forgot I showed you that. <laughs> Never mind, you're not yapping. My bad. Please forgive me. <laughs> anyway. The effects of the foul harvest stretched wide. Oh my god, it's a drugstore now. Yo. When there are no crops in the field, tractors don't need fixing. Oh, it's not a drugstore. You know what? I was looking at Nuncreed's drugstore. I didn't realize I was standing over here. Okay. Oh my god, a librere. A, li a biblioteca. See English? I'm bilingual. Wait. <laughs> I called Ellie English. <laughs> See Ellie? I'm bilingual too. <laughs> I'm clipping that. That's so funny. I can't believe that I called him English. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm losing my mind, dude. I'm losing it. I'm fucking losing it. I'm <laughs> it's gone. Oh my god. Anyway, let's keep moving. Looks like the library hasn't opened yet. <laughs> Aside from British. Yeah, you're English now. I'll check back later. Oh, I was gonna try busting. Busted, buster? Hey, why are you standing outside the drugstore? He's got such a deep beep. Oh my god, I don't think I can go that low. I'm just a- I'm just a baby! Luca, hold my- my boy! 
Hold up a tick. <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Nuncreed. I was just... Oh, it, this is the drug guy. It's just on my way to... I just saw the last jar of your grandmother's preserves. It's my favorite drug. Can't stock the shells fast enough, turns out. Hey, that's great, but I'm actually... I guess Juniper will just have to swing by with more of her lovely jam. Uh-huh. Well, don't let this old man slow you down. You just remind her that she still owes me that dance. A promise Gran regretted the second it was made. Will do. She's a fine woman, that Juniper. Yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> Real fine woman. Uh, gotta go. Sweeter than any jam on earth. What a freak. Hey, calm down, man. That's my grandmother. You're talking about. Oh my god, a telephone. The phone booth was brand new. Part of Perennial Harvest's Beacon Pines Reborn initiative. Was this game made in 1980? It didn't see much use. When were those telephones around? When was Harry Potter made? That's what I associate those telephones with. And transphobia. But mostly the telephones. <laughs> um, I'll talk to the bunny in a sec. That's not a bunny. I'll talk. The path I didn't mean to go this way. A small hollow at I didn't realize there was even a thing Hollywood. here. Okay, no turning back now. Wait. Wait, I want to turn back. Is that sign new? The fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Okay, so what would Rolla do if Luca he was here? Luca often asked himself what Rolla would do. So that he could rule out that option. Great. I'm definitely not touching that thing. Let me go back, please. Luca knew that you if he gave up You son of a now, bitch. Can I? Can I? <laughs> if I just jump back here real quick. I want to explore more. I didn't mean to do that. God In damn the past, it. <laughs> he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. No doctor. Who? What do you mean? Who? What? I haven't watched Doctor Who. I'm really sorry. Like, I, there's certain things I haven't watched that people, I'm sure, would be disappointed in me. Um, Actually, every time I make a new friend, basically, I think. Oh. Oh, the TARDIS, right? Is that... The TARDIS is a telephone booth, right? Um... Basically, every time I make a new friend, we talk about all the shows that they think I should watch, and then we list them. So, like, Sophia's one of my new friends, so now we have, like, 15 million shows I that we have to watch, friend. and movies. And, you know. Bye! See ya! You'll do what later? Okay, I didn't know that. I need to know- I didn't need to know that, but... Alright, have a good one. <laughs> uh, what's a- what's an accent that I can do? Or what's a voice I can do? I don't know any voice. I don't know. There's too many characters. I'm not going to memorize any of these, by the way. Scottish? Is that Scottish? <laughs> I don't know what Scottish accent is. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you hate my what? <laughs> Sorry, I need to cry it out for a second. <laughs> I need to sob out my misery. Um, oh, I get it. Ellie, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Come and go. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> what's a Scottish accent? I hate it when you come. Sorry, I hated saying that. You guys are so on fight. Yo, leave it to me. <laughs> All right, anyway. Um, what's a Scottish accent? What's a- what's a trigger word I can use that would- Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Iconic Scottish phrases. Your arse is out the window. <laughs> That's the first one that showed up. Your arse is out the window. Oh, hey, Luca. Hey, Joey. How's the bug hunt going? Not great, cause your ass is out the window. <laughs> Bugs have been shy this week. Bugs get shy? 
Of oh sure, bugs aren't that different from people. Sometimes they just want to be left alone. If you're going in the way, boy, just be careful where you step. No bug crunching, got it. All right. Hey you guys, I'm Ari. Come, comes funny. Come is funny. After the foul harvest destroyed their wealth and reputation, the Valentines shuttered off their estate from the rest of town. Okay. Scotland forever! The Valentine Mansion loomed over every other building in town. What's up, Marty Got Kid? How you doing? Both figuratively Thank and you for the literally. Lurk. Appreciate it. There's so much to explore. I'm glad I came back. I'm glad I did what now? Shut up. I knew chat was going to say it, so I said it. This time, it wasn't for me. It was for you. <laughs> Wait, other way around. This time, it wasn't for you. It was for me. Right away again. <laughs> Give me a minute. Oh, rough. Rough, rough, rough. Bark, bark, bark. I'm not a furry. I... <laughs> the path left. Shut up! Okay. Fair enough. Shut up! All right. The fence thrummed with... Luca off and out. So they... Okay. We're not touching it. Well, are you sure? Okay. Well, I'm touching it. It's fine. It's all right. What's this? <gasps> I can pick stuff up. Oh, my gosh. As the sparks fuck? flew from the fence, the light atop that section shut off. Two bulbs remained. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Why well, was... Half... Half of... Okay. You know what's so funny? I went quiet because I heard my mom leave her room and I was like, am I going to get yelled at for being too loud? <laughs> <laughs> Celestial Penis said, what now? Two balls of what? Welcome back, Marty Rackhead. Is Celestial Penis... Didn't Celestial Penis say she was leaving? I thought she left. What's here? Oh, I thought there was something there. Okay, we'll One that to go. The fences buzzing gave way to silence. Okay, moment of truth. Every kid in town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Now, it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. Okay, so Rolla wasn't exaggerating for once. What's going on here? There was only one way to find out. My throat is not... I just realized that streaming every day is going to kill me because my throat is the not going to survive. The water looked almost diseased. It flowed slowly into the woods. Yeah, that's going to be rough. That's going to be rough, buddy. The hose emitted a subtle sound. It was actively draining some kind of liquid. Wow, that smells awful. Too bad Rill's not here. I forget sometimes that I have to actually like, read it out loud. That's why sometimes I do it late. Because <laughs> I just forget. You'd have no pro problem poking around in there. What is that? Okay. I thought it was like... I thought I saw hands. Anyway. Hans. What's over here? Anything? Nothing. There's red goop. Oh, there is red goop. Kind of missed that. It's probably just a hose, right? 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 <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> guys? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to play games that without narration sometimes. Or with narration, without my need for narration. I want to play... I think... I think I'm going to play Amnesia. I'm not saying for sure, because I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know. First of all, it seems like a really long game to start, because there's like three of them. Uh... But maybe, maybe I will. All right, we're investigating. Here we go, baby. Locked. Luca oh, well, never mind. I guess we're not. Sounds coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. A zipper? Footsteps? The sound of footsteps grew louder. H Hello, mom. Oh god, it was I didn't expect to see a person, I was expecting a ghost. Zero twenty-nine. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Let's go. Chapter three. The heavy steel oh. door knocked Luca to the ground. Lethal company! Let's go! No way! I'm gonna play that this month at some point. 
Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. He tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Luca watched his fingernails leave SCP? trails in the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door, into the lab, into the green light. You should play Lethal Company with us. Uh, who is us? But yeah, I'm down. I uh, have a crew to play with on stream, but if you want to play off stream, I'm down. This is a story about change. You didn't... What's with the turning points and not letting me turn any points? The point this is just straight and I can't turn it left or right. Change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. Yeah, sure. You can, you can invite me if you want, Crow. You should uh, invite Ellie too. Make him play. But change is, after all, a dangerous animal. The <laughs> Ellie has end? issues with the <laughs> Ellie has issues with scary games. I probably should have warned you about this. There are many paths Luke is that dead. our story can take. Most will end in tragedy. But don't let that discourage you. We will find the ending that this story deserves. I just know it. From here on out, a charm will have a check mark when it's been used to its full potential at a given turning point. Okay. Now, let's try something different. Wait, so I'm just straight up dead. <laughs> Ari doesn't want to. Thanks, Ellie. I'm j I didn't expect to just die. I that's crazy. Okay. Well, I guess we're going back to shit. <laughs> we gotta use shit. All right, let's try this again. Was to be a little shit. Here we go, baby. In the past, he found the best way to well, deal with the Well, you guys saw how I died. Toxic. I got pulled was into to the be darkness. A little shit. In case you weren't listening because you were busy playing uh, Lethal Company or whatever, talking about Lethal Company, what happened was I went to the factory alone. I got dragged by that SCP Lethal Company guy, and then. Narrator Beatrix, Beatrix, told us that, um, I was rebranding my shit for Valentine's, gotcha. Um, Beatrix told us that, uh, we gotta, um, not allowed to mention that you're that getting roasted. <laughs> yeah, we got to, um, change what we used. So, we got the word shit. So now we got to use that in this turning point so that we can actually change the story. Um... And eventually, we'll find the end. Thanks, game, for murdering me immediately. Make a break for it! Oh, what have you done? <laughs> Did those little shit just kick me? Run all you want, little twerps. You gotta come home eventually. Damn, get fucked, Sebastian. What's his name? He had a name. Investigate with Rolo. What's his name? Hey, what's your name? Sorry about that. Rolo can get overexcited sometimes. Solomon Valentine. Solomon, that was it. That was close. Current ward of and future successor to the Valentine fortune huffed as he brushed off his pants. A town of complete and utter fools. One wonders if it's worth taking anything seriously here. Either way, I'm really sorry. No matter. How are you doing? Me? Yes, with all your business about your mother and whatnot. Oh, I'm getting by. Still no word from her at all? No? That is truly a shame. Your grandmother has taken residence to keep us? Yeah. And how is that going? <sighs> We mostly stay out of each other's way. You make it sound like she's rarely at home. It's not like that. She just has a lot to do. Mm -hmm. She's still settling in and trying to figure out how to make ends meet. Indeed. Well, count your blessings. It's better to have a caretaker who is rarely around in lieu of one who tries to compensate by smothering you with love and attention and money and, you know, money. That doesn't sound so bad. Trust me when I say, it's best to rely on yourself. Family has a way of creating more problems than they solve. 
Oh my god, it's a business man. Solomon! Solomon the gesture toward the approaching heiress, Valentine. Oh, heiress, okay. Speak of the devil. Do not wander off like that. I'm much too busy to be looking all over for you. Oh, apologies, Eris. I was just taking a stroll through town. Strolls are for commoners. You're a valentine now. I want you to be present for the construction of the History Museum. The future of this town relies on its ability to remember our family's great past. Of course. What do you mean now? Did he get adopted? I don't know how the genetics work in this game. Are you going to tell me how you want to fuck my grandmother again? You son of a bitch. Uh, sorry, Mr. Nuncreed, kind of in a rush right now. Okay, okay, fire. <sighs> Why has got too much of his father in him? I'm realizing I'm turning him into Snape a little bit. Ooh. I win. Ooh. Little help. Ooh. I Ooh. am Ooh. a champion. Ooh. We were racing? Ooh. Did that road get longer? Ooh. Like anything ever ha ever changes around here. Ooh. It seemed longer. You're just lightheaded from the run. You really need to pace yourself better next time. Ooh. Not sure why I would take advice from second place. Has that sign always been there? Ooh. Wait, what? He's gonna touch it. Caution, electrified Ooh. fence. Ooh. No, that's definitely Ooh. new. Creepy. How are we gonna get around an electric fence? Ooh. Don't worry, I've got this. Fucking called it. Ooh. Fucking called it. Why'd you do that? Always says you can figure out the plan when you're done. What the plan was when you're done. Great, what now? Well, I did my part and established that touching the fence is bad. I'm sure you can handle it from here. I'll supervise. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. From a safe distance. Good thing I did this already. Whoa, you're a genius. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I am. I think that did it. Luca, you never fail to impress. Oh, I wanted to take the can with me. As the glowing windows of the old warehouse came into view, Rolo began to bounce excitedly. Check it out! Dang, Rolo, you weren't exaggerating for once. Was there ever any doubt? This definitely needs investigating. Good thing two ace def Oh my god, it's the- it's- uh, uh, Detectives are on the case. <laughs> This is bizarre. Ooh. This is awesome. <laughs> Crow figured it out. Guys, guys, Crow's too smart. Rumble, rumble. Did you, did, oh, sorry, wrong voice, my bad. Did you feel that? What, the excitement in the air? You bet your butt I did. Okay, you're splashing in like probably just toxic waste. Check out this puddle. That's not normal. And this hose. Oh man, the door is locked. Try harder! No dice, it won't budge. Oh well. This dumpster is new, right? I bet it's got stuff in it. I can't really see what's in here. Who did all this? My nose is itching. I think I smell some trouble. Treasure. Jesus. <laughs> Are you sure that isn't the hazardous waste? Just help me get in. R Rolo, <laughs> it would be my honor to throw you in the trash. Ooh. Come on, Lady Luck. So, what's in there? Let's see. There's a squishy bag of squish. Wow. A good inch of stagnant sludge. Your natural habitat? Wait, hold the phone. You guys have phones? Hold two phones. They have more than one. Check these. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I immediately switched to the wrong accent. Uh, voice. That's not an accent. Voice. Check these bad boys out. Are those walkie-talkies? Just like Hank Atomic Communicators. Do these actual, actually work? Ground Command to Hank Atomic. Hank, do you read me? This is Hank Atomic. Ground Command, you're coming in 5x5. Five five. How, um, how are your vital readouts, Hank? It's getting a little stuffy in here. Requiring, requesting assistance for evac. Help is on the way. I hear footsteps. What was that? Someone's coming. Give me your hand. I'm trying. My hands are covered in squish. Ew, disgusting. 
Scoot over, I'm coming in. Oh my god, it's Lethal Company. Oh, oh my god, he's gonna see us. Guys, <laughs> he already killed me once. Don't do it again. Uh, tell me you saw that. Uh, that just happened. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, I don't know what I saw. He's coming back, get down. Uh, body bag. The boy sat petrified under the weight of the bag. Oh God, don't tell me. <sighs> Sorry, Luca's very tired tonight. Tell me that's not what I think it is. Luca, do you know what separates one of the mill detectors from ace detectives? A ridiculous hat? When the chips are down, ace detectives de dig deeper for clues. Rollo felt around at the large sack which burdened them. EP the ace. I'm not even tired. Well, that's a lie. I've been out on campus today, but it's not even sleepiness. It's literally just when I talk a lot, my brain just starts fogging up a little bit. <laughs> I talk too fast. Also, Sophia said she does too to me. So, like, it's not just me. Is my hair okay? It is. It is. I just got out of the shower before stream because I felt gross. I felt disgusting after um, being on campus all day. As you do, bruv. Anyway. Uh, hey. Oh. He snapped off a tag from just within a small zipper opening in the bag. It's some sort of badge or something. What's it say? Who held the badge up to a faint shaft SCP seven eight two. Doctor Prescott, deep engineering. Same amount of syllables. It's a name tag. Who would throw away a bag full of slimy old name tags? I, I think it's just one name tag in a bag full of something else. Okay, okay, okay. I think we should make a break for it. Stay calm, this is no time to panic. I'm not panicking! You're panicking! Rolo, fucking calm down, schmuck. You don't have to squeeze my hand so hard. Dude, I'm not holding your hand. Quit, quit messing around. What other slime covered hand would be in here? Oh, oh boy. Oh jeez, Rick. Oh. Well, well, like he's gonna see that now. I'm beginning to see the benefits of your run for our lives plan. Right, we've clearly established them faster than you, so I'll go first. Why not go together? Flaming chicken coop, Luca. I'll make sure the coast is clear. After I go, count to 100. If you hear me yell, run. If you don't hear me yell, run. Actually, either way, haul ass. Rolo, I'll give you credit. You sure found an eventful way to start our summer. It's what I do. This is not the conversation to be having right now when you're sitting in a dumpster under body bag with fucking a hand that you just threw out of the... Of the oh, like, millennials, am I right? These kids are such millennials, man. Well, here goes nothing. Lucas sat in the dark, tracking the sound of Rollo's footsteps as he ran. I wonder if Ellie or Penis, the the two uh, millennials, have anything to say about that. Oh wait, Penis is a Gen Z, like very late Gen Z, I think. So, hey Ellie, <laughs> maybe my bullying was deserved. One, two, three. Wait, he he's pressed actually his ear to the dumpster wall, straining why? to hear Rollo's footsteps as they faded away. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. He tried not to think about the contents of the dumpster as he counted. Thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. Yeah, I, I would run too. That's insane. Hard to breathe. Screw it. That's long enough. I was more making fun of their what they say. <laughs> What's up, Vane? How you doing? I feel like every time Vane shows up, I, I say that exactly that same way. I feel like I've said it before, where I was like, How you doing? Ah! Luca carefully lifted the lid and peered out. Nothing. No sign of Rollo. No sign of the man in the yellow suit. Time to haul ass. Luca clambered from the dumpster, stumbling to his knees. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. 
Deacon Pines flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night. Throwing his front door open, storming up the stairs to his room and surrendering to sleep almost as abruptly as he hit his pillow. I think you missed a step there where you go and take a fucking shower because you were in a fucking trash can and you held a dead hand and you were under a dead body and you had slime and sludge all over you. But, you know, that's fine. Chapter 3 We're not doing this all in one stream, by the way. <laughs> There's no way, because it's 10.37, I go until midnight, and we're at chapter 3 of 11, so, you know. Finding a friend. The next morning, it was quieter than usual at the breakfast table. He's traumatized? Dude, if I was traumatized, I'd still take a shower. My bed is a beautiful thing, you know? Beautiful things happen on it. Amazing, wonderful things happen on my bed. Like me playing video games on my TV. And I just, I needed to, to take a shower so I don't ruin it. Because it, it's beautiful. It's a wonderful thing. Only the sound of silverware and chewing. Don't say that. Don't say silence. that. Why would you say that? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, guys, if anyone wants to time out, Crow, I wouldn't blame you. I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> what do you mean by that, Crow? It's not there anymore. Okay, fuck off. I hit it now. <laughs> the lotion's hidden. <laughs> no, you're losing it. You're losing it. Yeah, yeah. You've actually never been in here before, so I don't know why you're like thinking that you have like inside jokes with us. Like, welcome to stream, I guess, but you're like a weird kid, man. I haven't talked to you in so long. It's been like three hours. I don't even know what your fucking voice is anymore, Grandma. I do know that you look fucking amazing, though. I love your character design. Could you guys hear me chugging that shit? Dude! How big is this? 32 ounces? I am almost done with this entire thing. I'm pretty sure it was basically at the beginning when we started. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like right at the end there. Is this a book? It is. It's in the form of a book. The whole story. <clears throat> I finished jarring a massive jam last night. Uh-huh. So that'll need to get delivered into town today. Okay. So what did you and Rolo get up to yesterday? Oh, nothing interesting. Hello? Beep, 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 boop, 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 square, square, square. Uh -huh. Calm down. Uh -huh. No, of course it was the right thing to do. Uh -huh. Start uh -huh. gathering folks, I'll be right there. What happened? Did they find out? Do they know? What the hell? What do you mean? What do you mean I... I had a controller. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Thanks for the look, Vane. Have a good one, bro. Are you sure there wasn't anything you want to tell me about yesterday? Anything I want to tell you? Not really. We just sort of ran around Grand's a bit. Grand's brow furrowed. She let out a long sigh. Her voice was quiet and even. <sighs> I have to go take care of something. You ought to stay in this house for the day. Under no circumstance are you to leave. What? If I'm not back by dinner, they're still in the icebox. But, but nothing! You are to stay here, understand? Yeah. Say it! I'll stay here until you get back. Good. I don't know why I just make some characters extra creepy for no reason. I literally love her design. I don't think she's evil, and I just like making her a freak. <laughs> oh, and Luca, you left the icebox open yesterday. We're not made of money, you know. I also left the sink on. I thought you'd say something about that, but... 
Born in a barn. Oh, I think I did both of that. I. Ah! Achievement. I wonder. Oh, I forgot all of them are secret. I was like, maybe I could like see the names and try to figure out what. Nope, can't. Freaking. Ugh. Anyway. Well, that was strange. Okay, well, I won't leave it on. Okay. Is there anything? Oh, I can... Oh, oh, I can open my one drawer. I can't open any of the others, though. All right. There's a phone here, but I can't click it. What am I supposed to do while I'm trapped at home? Oh, brother. I don't even know what I'm going to do. All right, well, I can... She said not to leave the house, but does the outside of the house count as the house? I guess it does. Because I'm allowed back here. Anything to do here? Anything to do? A faint electronic sound floated in the air. My walkie-talkie. Is that coming from inside the house? The call is coming from inside the house! Is that Morse code? Do any of you speak Morse code? Do you guys want to try to figure this out before the game tells it to us? Hang on. I got li line dot dot. Line dot 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 line line dot. Okay, okay, okay. I think I got it. Okay, I got line dot 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 line line dot line line dot 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 line dot. That's not SOS. That's way more than three letters. Hang on. Morse code translator. What are the chances that I actually figured it out, though? For real. On God. Space between them. Okay. Dash dot 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 dash. Dash dot. Dash dash dot 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 dash dot. Danger! Oh my God, I did it. It means danger. Get fucked. You guys didn't believe in me. <laughs> I did it. I'm not even kidding. I'll put it in chat so you guys- I'll put it in chat so you guys have it. It was dash dot 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 dash dash dot dash dash dot 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 dot. Uh, there you go. That was it. Bro, I'm so proud of myself. That's so cool. <laughs> I've never really messed with Morse code before and I didn't- I didn't think I could figure out what the words- like in between words because how long do you have to pause between- I don't- Whatever. I'm proud of myself. W. W in the chat, baby. Let's go. That's so awesome. That's so fucking cool. <laughs> That's so cool. Alright. Let's keep playing. Where is it? No, well, I could just be here. Be- be cool. That's actually sick. Yeah, dude. Because, um... It's not that. We, like, we've- Played um keep keep talking and nobody explodes before. Desperate until Graham okay. Returned. All right, well I can't move. We've played keep talking and nobody explodes. Ex ex what is it? Explodes before, but um. Hello, is anyone there? But there was no um. There was no reason to actually know Morse code. I think it like they just gave you the uh thing. Like they just gave you the packet. Oh, <gasps> it's right there. Hello? Rolo, is that you? Over? That was a really unsettling noise, guys. I don't know how to feel about that one. <laughs> 
Womp womp. Luca glanced at the now silent walkie-talkie. He wasn't sure what to think. So. Luca glanced. He wasn't sure. I heard knocking. It's not there. I don't like it. Who's knocking? <laughs> Fucking hell. Why would you jump at me like that? <laughs> oh, hey, Roxy. If this is about me uh, accidentally kicking you yesterday. <laughs> is Rolo here? No. <laughs> Look at me, Luca. This is serious. Is Rolo here? N no, I haven't seen him since yesterday. <laughs> Rolo didn't come home last night. That's a little... Guys... Remember when I was like, we're gonna, this is gonna be, the theme is gonna be weepier, which means we're gonna play scary and sad games and we're gonna be unsettled and freaked out the entire month. I'm changing my mind immediately and I'm not even playing a game that's like a classic horror game. <sighs> what is a pit formed in Luca's stomach? Where was the last place you saw him? Uh huh. We were playing around in Weepwood, and then it was late, and we went home. Weepwood? If he's alive, I'm gonna kill that little creep. Is there anything else, anything that he said? Luca's mouth felt dry. No, we were just messing around. Okay, I need to call us to people not to check the woods. You just stay out of trouble. Go see if he's hiding in the library or something. Luca I'm not supposed to leave, his so... Heart beating in his throat. Also, the library's on the way to Weepwood, so why don't you just check there, too? What do you mean? It's not a big place, dude. Rolo. Where are you? That's unsettling. I'm- here's the thing. I don't mind horror, but, like, I don't have that much experience with it. Like, Lethal Company has been super interesting. Phasmo has been super interesting because it's forced me into these horror situations. Um... But yeah, whenever something happens, it's really like frightening to me because I'm not used to it. Because my one of my fr oh, we get Bart. Oh, let's go. I'll do this in a sec. I had a feeling something happened to Roller. Um, crazy. Yeah, like some of my friends, one of my friends and my old friend group hated horror movies, so we would never watch any with him, with them, and like. I don't know. It means I just didn't get used to them. I should watch more horror stuff. Anyway. Hey, Bert! Have you seen Rolo? Eat my shorts. Nope. Though I've mostly been talking to clickboards. They're setting up lots of stuff for the festival. This one said he had to process some answers. I told you, I told him that was fine. I'll wait right here until he gets back. You can handle slightly lighthearted jump scare horror, but you can't handle psycho. Yeah, I love psychological horror. It's just that's what unsettles me the most. <laughs> this is not your voice. No, I noticed. I know. I want it. Is there anything here, maybe? Nope. Yeah, psychological horror is fun. I feel like I don't want to talk to every character because I'm not going to remember the voices, but Bart was Bart, so, you know, obviously I had to. Also, this guy just sounds like me, so let's talk to him. Howdy, Luca. Hello again, Pete. I'm not Pete, you silly goose. It's Toby. You could have fooled me. Well, hey. Well, hey, it's no problem. Pro it's hey, Well, hey, it's no problem -o. <laughs> I could not. You could play DDLC? Okay, I, like, already kind of played it, so it wouldn't have, like, that impact on me. Sorry. <laughs> I also just wasn't the biggest fan because there was so much lore and it was so overwhelming. Like how many like people were like, oh, there's like this new game coming and there's lore that relates to the new game and there's this project. And I just kind of lost like sight of what was happening. So anyway, the important thing is we'd love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, I'm getting that impression. We're all part of something special, Luca. And it all starts right here in Beacon Pines. I got it. Toby looked up from the clipboard excitedly. 
That's right. So how about you start by telling me? Look, no offense, but I got my own stuff to take care of. God, you joker. We're all a part of this together. You'll let us know when you're free to answer a few questions. I'm free. No, let's do it. Let's do it, baby. All right, I cannot do it, baby. Let's check the library. Biblioteca. Uh, uh, what, this was bottle of water, right? Bottle of water. Bottle of water. We really need to get back to work. Just a cup. Uh, wait, who is this? Oh, this is a preppy girl. Um, just a couple more minutes. If Roxy said she'll be here, then she'll be here. Oh, I just don't know. I just don't see why I'm standing around doing nothing. Not you can let us know, but you will let us know. I know, it's so unsettling. I love that. I love that. <laughs> that obviously, that big company is going to be evil, but you know. And waiting for Roxy. When I could be standing around doing nothing. Getting paid for it. Come on, Lumi. Roxy needs her help. Yeah, well, good intentions don't qualify as legal tender. Tender? The word tender could be a sir. Ah, uh, my parents won't listen to, to me. No offense, but isn't tr isn't Rolo always will get into trouble? Something feels different this time. What can we do to help? Oh, wait. <laughs> what can we do to help? We need to check where the adults aren't. So I guess it's up to us to check. Weep wood. Dun dun dun. Bottle of water. Our shift doesn't end for another couple of hours. We could spend the time making posters. That would be great. I guess. Right. Fitz and I will check. Weep wood. Dun dun dun. <laughs> we'll be back later to pick up the posters. I think my dad has a map of Whitwood. Let's swing by my house and grab it before we head out. I don't know why I do this with my head every time I do like a preppy girl voice. It just, just makes sense to me. I don't know. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I don't want to do all these voices. Oh, thank you. They have, they're all talking at once. I thought I have to talk to all three of them individually. What's this about a missing child? She's pretty. <laughs> I'm not a furry. <laughs> Please. I... Uh, anyway. I must stress that the situation is completely under control. It just all seems so terrible. And you're sure there's nothing we can do to help? Nonsense. Young Mr. Carter will turn up safe and sound. I'm certain. It's because I'm foxy, bro. Not like FNAF, I'm like just- I'm like- I'm like just a little foxy. I'm a catch. <laughs> and don't you forget! You just focus on settling in. I trust my sister has applied you with suitable lodging? Oh yes, Miss Valentine has been more than accommodating. We were just telling our daughter back that- Okay, blah blah blah. Now where did she run off to? Oh no, the kid is dead. Tonight. Da 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 Is this person awake yet? Still getting ready for the festival. Hey dude, kid is dead, just so you know. Anyway. Hey Don! <laughs> yeah, he yeah, he didn't come home last night. Connected to what? What sort of activity? Who would be doing all that and why? Do you have any idea where Rolo could be? We were in Weep Wood, right by Valentine's Falls and Fertilizer. I don't know if I could do it for much longer. That hurt me to my core. He doesn't even see the danger he's in. Yeah. Thanks, man. Oop. Oh, the stoner. Hey, Luca. What's up? You haven't seen Rollo. Oh, wait, sorry. You haven't seen Rollo around here, have you? Recently, have you? He doesn't come around here much. Not since they made a rule that he can only order decaf. Oh, I, I'm enjoying this game, but it's feeling like it's getting a little, like, fat-phobic. It's getting a little... 
uh, like it was funny that he was like getting tired running because that's just so me like you know that's just real cardio sucks but now it's just getting a little like weird man it's getting a little much you do realize what decaf is right oh isn't it like the isn't it like no sugar shit or something I, here's the thing i don't i don't drink i almost said i don't watch i don't drink coffee but isn't i thought it was like oh that's a different thing okay sorry sorry i <laughs> i thought it was like no sugar like no like other stuff i knew it was like no something oh okay 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 fair enough fair enough my bad my bad i knew i know it was like uh no something so it no balls no balls anyway hey griffin has has rolla been by Ellie's showing off that he has actual emotes to use. My bad. I'll add more emotes soon. Stop showing off. Don't yell at me. Haven't seen him all day. I'm sure he'll show up safe and sound. And when he does, tell him there's a strawberry chocolate double scoop waiting for him. On the house. You'll like that. I don't know what voice I gave this guy. Uh, he <laughs> fucking show off. Uh, there was... I... Uh, <laughs> There was one voice, I'm trying to think, and it was like, I gave him a goofy voice, and it was really funny to use, and so now I'm using it for him. And every other character I forget about. Oh, wait, was it? No, this was Bart. Okay. Hey, you soon? History Museum. It's laughable, really. Did you happen to see Rolo in there? No. Just a shadow of family, clinging on to a town, clinging on to the past. Okay. Feel free to check for yourself, but don't expect to have your mind blown. Okay. Let's see the history museum. I forgot about two balls already. Sharper Valentine, a celebration of excellence. Beacon Pines is a great town. Ooh. What you may not know is great towns grow from mighty roots. This is a turn And that is why you cannot tell the story of Beacon Pines without telling the story of one Sharper Valentine. Young Sharper's keen intellect and strong moral fiber led to a grand vision. A vision of a community dedicated to a better tomorrow. In his own words, a better tomorrow is within our grasp, but it requires a singular mind to harness it. Lucky for us, he decided to grow that vision here, in Beacon Pines. And how does one grow a better tomorrow? With fertilizer, of course. Valentine's Fertilizer Company became the lifeblood of a town yearning for purpose. But then tragedy struck. A scientific experiment gone wrong. An accident which took Sharper away from us far too soon. To this day, we struggle to pick up the pieces. But one foul harvest isn't enough to stop the people of Beacon Pines. Oh my god, I'm getting The spirit of Sharper Valentine lives on. It lives in the hearts of everyone with a dream for a better tomorrow. Together, we will follow his example and grow a bountiful future. Paid for by the Valentine family and the Valentine Fertilizer Company of Riverfence Fund. My alarm went off and it felt like when you're in a movie theater and you suddenly get a call. I felt so bad. <laughs> Also, Ellie said two balls Ari implies that there's a variant of Ari that doesn't have two balls. Yeah, it's the one version of me in the entire multiverse that's a girl. You know, you know, there's a, how there's like a crocodile Ari and there's a frog Ari and there's all these different kinds of Aries. And then they just decide, you know what, we'll just have like one girl Ari and that'll be the most powerful Ari. And we've decided that even though this Ari character is actually... Uh, 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 canonically non-binary and gender fluid. We're just gonna decide. There's only gonna be one Ari ever. How, how do you feel about that, Ellie? It, does that seem like good writing to you? Fuck Loki season one. <laughs> that was unhelpful. <laughs> I still haven't watched season two, so I can't say fuck Loki uh, overall. But fuck Loki, Loki season one. Come on now. White Ari. <laughs> yeah, isn't there like one black Loki like out of all of them? Oh, yeah, yeah. You could also be talking about Spider-Verse. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, Hollywood. The, my reason of bringing up the oh, isn't there only one black Loki is again, they do the same thing where they're like, there's just one of each of these types of Loki. And I'm like, I get you want like all a a diverse group of Lokis, but you don't have to make that the one and be like, there's none other, you know? Um, cause I mean, I don't know. TV ulcers does that a lot. It's such a trope in new girl 
they literally have they have the one like token black character in the pilot and then he leaves so that another token black character can show up they like they barely ever have multiple and then it's always sunny makes fun of them for it i'm pretty sure they were making fun of new girl um anyway i'm rambling about stuff that you guys don't care about again <laughs> my favorite shows that nobody here has watched Black Spider-Man wasn't even supposed to be Spider-Man. Yeah, true. That's not fun. Yeah, funny thing. Okay. Uh, let's A go through all these. behind the curtain. The methods and ruminations of Patrick C. Montesquieu. One of the greatest acting minds of our time. By Patrick C. Mont... Okay. <laughs> Sally Seashore's simple, succulent sundries. I wonder how that felt for Beatrix, the voice actor, to say... Luca brushed off a smudge of dust. Or maybe it was flour. So speaking of Spider-Verse, I wasn't going to say anything until I got it, but next Saturday I have a tattoo coming appointment ta coming up, and it's a Spider-Verse tattoo, so I'm excited! Um, I wasn't going to say anything, but then you guys decided to talk Spider-Verse, so here you go. 30 recipes so easy, you'll doubt it's even edible. Oh my god, did someone say edible? Oh my god, yo! Call that one stoner from the back of the <laughs> coffee shop. <laughs> what kind? It's a Spider-Verse tattoo. It's a spider. It's got the style, kind of, of Spider-Verse. Uh, it's got more of the glitchy effect rather than the comic effect. Um, although I definitely think a comic tattoo would also be cool. I just didn't want to overload it. Um... Succulent, thanks. New word. Glitchy spider, yeah, basically. And colorful. It's not going to be black and white. Oh, the cobs I've eaten. A salad-centric travel guide. Cool. Well, now we got to read all these in case we get another word. There were rarely any this is the best place to get a, a word, though. Of existing content. This is, like, the only place you could go to get the words that you want. So this... You Mycological... Know. I want phosphorescence as my... More like... My own complete loss of interest. Aren't I funny? I've, I've wanted phosphorescence to be one of my words. Array of thick science books. Only one binding was clean enough to cellular biology and the cap. Stop. Stop with. Stop. Never the mind. entire top level of the library, most of which were Hank Atomic. More Hank Atomic. Okay. I was going to make a mitosis joke, but I just couldn't get there. Hit <laughs> nerd! Well, good thing I did that. Is that Rexy's favorite word? Shout out Rexy. Rexy, this game was made for you. <laughs> I barely could say your name. I don't know why I can never talk. There's something really wrong with me in these streams. I really lose it. Nice. Hey, Jace. Does this kid have a voice? Oh, hey, Luca. Did Rolo come by? No. I was actually surprised. He's usually here early on days when a new issue drops. Rollo's the biggest Hank Atomic fan I know. Besides myself, that is. Well, if he does swing by, tell him to meet me you know where. I don't know where. N no, he knows where. Oh. Roger that, Space Connect. I like... I like trying to do different voices. It's not always the easiest, especially because there's so many characters. But I feel like if I just had to do like two or three different characters with a variety of voices, I think I could pull it off. Kato volunteered at the library during the summers. He wasn't very social, so he'd dedicate each summer to becoming an expert in a single subject, making him a reliable source of very particular knowledge. He if just you were like to ask me for Kato real. something he didn't know, he'd escape into the dusty old bookshelves and return with just the right thing. He's literally so real. I, he is living my life, dude. He's living the life that I would have if I didn't care about money. <laughs> if I didn't live in America, he's living the life I would have, bro. Hey, Kato. Kato was lost in Kato, his reading. Kato, shit, my bad. Luca crooked his neck to see the title. Introduction to Melatology. Hey, Google, what is Melatology? That's not what I even asked. All right. Maybe it's not like a real thing. I just thought I'd check, you know? <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, I love him. Oh, I love him. He's so fucking cute. Um, I just want to give him a sweet voice. Just a voice dripped in honey. 
No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not. It's gonna be his voice. Oh, dude, I don't even know. What to, I don't even know what make his voice, but he's so cute. Oh, oh, oh hey, Luca, you snuck up on me. <laughs> you said anime girl voice, so you know there we are. Good book. The no, just started it. He gestured to the shelves. I have now add. I had to add a permitted term that is just I'm going to kill you, so that crow could say that message. <laughs> I'm really running out of books I haven't read yet. So now it's on to the wonderful world of bees. Turns out bees are pretty cool. For instance, did you know that around 70% of bee species actually live in underground tunnels? Or that if there are two queens in a hive, they'll fight to the death for supremacy. Oh shit. Oh shit, Luca going off. I every time I use like ev whenever I use that voice or even Luca's voice that's kind of higher pitch, I just think of that game I think it's Game Grumps, right? That one clip that's just like talking about like oh, I just go in bed tonight and then it's like oh, you wouldn't have to if I woke up next to you or something like that. That one TikTok clip. <laughs> that's just what I think of every time I do these voices. That's interesting, but you haven't seen Roller around recently, have you? Not since yesterday. Keep an eye out for him, okay? <laughs> sure thing. If I see him, you'll be <laughs> the first to know. Ooh. I'm. Re Excuse me. That burp just fucking attacked from nowhere in the night. I'm realizing that. Uh, this is all part of my internet history. Like employers could see this if they wanted to. Thankfully, it's the first day of February, so, you know, it'll, like, there's, like, 28 more VODs that are, at least, that I might do two a day sometimes if I finish a game. So there's, like, 28 more VODs, at least, that will just push this one down. So we'll just, we'll be okay. <laughs> we'll be alright. Fuck me. What sort of monster puts candy behind a locked door? Oh wait, this is- I thought that this was the uh, rich boy. It wasn't. <laughs> oh yeah, Mr- Wait, I- sorry, I went to uh, the other one. <laughs> don't ragdoll me, no! No please, I don't want to be ragged! I don't want to be ragdolled. I feel like ragged has a different connotation. Oh my god, Catboy you say? Okay, I know what voice you know. Oh yeah, Mr. Nuncreed works weird hours sometimes. <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> How about you? When do I work? No, what's your name? Luca Van Horn. You new here? Yep, not my choice. Sex family moved often, giving her little time to establish any real connections. She would tell you she prefers it that way. I'm looking for my friend Rolo. He didn't come home last night. So he's missing? I guess so. Like a missing missing? Oh yeah, it is a cat girl. Cat girl, cat girl in the chat. Oh my god, does this sort of happen? Sort of happen thing a lot around here. That was the first time that was serious. Where I seriously said that. So, does that sort of happen thing? And then the second time after I stopped myself, I just went full send with it because I just decided, you know what? It's too late Luca to go back now. His feet uncomfortably. I got 50 minutes left in the stream. We're not even gonna get halfway through. This is gonna- This is good, actually, because I was worried I wouldn't have enough to do for 29 days, and now I realize, of course I will, because I just don't know how to- I just- The thing is, guys, I just don't know how to- Hang on. I just don't know how to- Shut up! <laughs> Thank you for waiting for that bit to go through. Thanks <laughs> for your patience. <laughs> well, that sucks. Yeah. So I should, uh, probably get going. I hear my parents outside, and I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like when they're outside. I'm a maniac in here. Hey, wait up! What? Beck pulled a coin from her pocket. <laughs> if you need my services. Oh, wait. I don't know why... She would pay me to use her services. I was thinking like maybe she's like mafia, but also I'd pay her. So it's more like if I need your services. Anyway. I'm coming with you. What? So says the unlucky penny. 
unlucky? Yeah, well, technically it handed on, handed on leads. God, me. Landed on heads. Leave this kid to find his friend alone. But I always do the opposite. Oh, that's kind of like me and Rolo. I guess Rolo is my unlucky pen eh, penny. That's cute. This settles it. A person should never be on without their unlucky penny. Let's go find him. I don't know what a voice I'm doing right now, but I'm liking it. The name's Beck. Pleasure to meet you, Beck. So I suppose I could use some help. Try to keep up. I... Now, aren't all the adults in Weep Woods anyway? Okay, well, I can't leave. Hey, Luca, it looks like the a path goes this way. Ooh. I just want to know what happened. Okay. Always got to check. What? Did, why is there already a sign here? Dang, they bored up the way in. But, like... Okay. I thought, like... Didn't you want to maybe search to find him there? Also... There's just a guy living there. I know it's probably an SCP, but like... Anyway. Oh my god, the goop. Oh my god, there's goop. Luca felt a chill as he approached Beck. Her eyes were locked on the strange green. The nearby grass was coated in a fine layer of frost. Uh, is this a sort of thing normal around here? Um... <laughs> um, actually... This looks like a puddle of glowing ooze. And they are definitely not what I expected from this place. I have no idea what that stuff is. Well, the next obvious step is science. And what does science suggest? Talk it with a stick. Luca watched as Beck dipped a broken tree branch into the goo. Beck's eyes widened as flowers grew from the dead wood. Oh, it, oh, okay, it's a First good thing. First small buds, which quickly bloomed into vibrant petals. Oh my god, yo, what if, like, what if, like, the story is, like, is, like, there's this, like, company that's, like, bad and, like, a bad company and it's, like, destroying the environment and then, like, that one SCP dude is actually, like, a good guy and he's, like, killing the bad people and he's, like, trying to, like, create, like, goop that, like, restores life around here because, like, all the life is dying or something like that, you know? Because this game feels very, like, one of those games Games, kind of like stardew where it's like you could help out jojo incorporated or whatever the fuck that place is or you could like be a good person and fund smaller business and not create uh not shutter anyway <laughs> what the cool as quickly as they had grown jojo the yeah that's what i said begin to shrivel and turn gray beck dropped the stick with a grunt of disgust okay so science tells us this gunk is weird as hell. Uh, yeah, it seems dangerous. Oh god, it's the bullies. Hey, Dish, look what the cat dragged in. Yup. I don't have time for this now, Iggy. Aw, oh, don't say things like that, it hurts Dish's feelings. Ain't that right, Tish? Yup. She looks fine to me. Well, hello, I don't think we've been properly introduced. Iggy's the name, this is my compatriot, Dish. Yup. You've probably heard of us. Can't say that I have. I'll forgive you just this once on account of you being new around here. Why would you hang out with this dud? Oh, he seems pretty alright. Hey, why do you have to be so... You. Has he even told you that his parents skipped that on him? Shut up. It's true, they got tired of having such a pathetic kid and left him. Iggy, I'm only going to say this one time. Don't talk about... My family. <laughs> well, look who's going to backbone now that girl's around. First his pops croaked. Then his mom finally couldn't take it anymore and bounced. Yo, can I get a f get into a fucking fist fight with these guys? Luca, his sneer lit by the glowing puddle. Beck could see tears welling in Luca's eyes. His fists clenched. Some things about Beacon Pines were very different from the city. But a bully from a hayseed town is really no different from a city bully. Beck took a deep breath and thought. Well, let's bust out the strange, baby. Fuck the tickles. Well, let's get real to weird bust with it. Out the strange. Here's one thing I just want to know. <laughs> Why couldn't shit be on there, first of all? Shame would have been great. Smack would have been amazing. Why would you not let me smack the shit out of this kid? And fight is right there. 
So you only give me two options and none of them are violence? Come on. Come on. All right, look, it looks like you need a little mud bath, eh? Yeah. What's wrong with you? You get more about a pound, your friend. Don't, why would you say it like that? Hey, friend, do you want to get pounded? Tender, I would not be tender. I would not click tender. I'm running a bit low on water, guys. Beck stared in silence, the only sign of life being the twitch of an eye. It's w weird when people don't talk. Yup. Stop being a weirdo. Uh, hello, are you some kind of a wackadoo? Makes sense. Wackadoos travel in packs, eh, dud? At the sight of Iggy taunting Beck, something in Luca snapped. Iggy's smirk shifted to a look of shock as Luca launched himself into his stomach. Damn. Ah! Iggy's Oof. clothes were drenched in the glowing ooze. You joke, my clothes are ruined. I'm Iggy's gonna. His voice began to slur as he struggled to get up. Did we. Yo, did we just murder this guy? Struggle. Did we just commit murder? <laughs> Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just. <laughs> oh shit. Yup. We just create a werewolf or committed murder? That was intense. He's gonna be okay, right? Nothing about this seems okay. The person at the warehouse. Hey, Beg, you have a real annoying voice. The strange can you do something about that? What it did to yeah, I think so. <laughs> we'll see if we can make that less annoying because it's pissing me off. Was Rolo caught up in all of this? We have to find Rolo. You took the words right out of my mouth. I think it's a little less intense the way I'm doing it now. Just a little bit. Okay, okay, we can go... It looks like there's a path here. Ooh. Property of Valentine Fertilizer Company. Looks old. Okay, 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 okay. Well, we... Okay, let's go see if that guy's... Okay. I want to know if he's dead is all. That's just... I'm just a little intrigued is all. Still a bit nasally to get the childish sound. Yeah, remember. Remember, remember. <laughs> this guy, I remember being insane, and I don't know how to even... What, how did I do this guy's voice? I remember making him, like... He was, like, super upbeat, but kind of, like, a normal pitch. But then he just goes a little fucking crazy at the end. Whoa there, little buddies! You startled me! What in the dickens are you doing? What are you up to in this part of town? We were just helping look for Robo. Robo? Rolo. Oh, haven't you heard the good news? R Rolo showed up saving sound to Pago! Really? So where was he? It's funny, really. He just got all turned around in the woods. It's gonna be disorienting, you know? I'm starting to get that impression. Rolo's at his house now, getting some well-deserved rest. Wow, that's a relief. You two should scurry along before you get lost yourselves. Yeah, come on, Beth. I can't wait to introduce you to Rolo. Oh, that reminds me. Luca, your grandmother was looking for you. Why do you sound like the Joker? I don't know. I, I'm the Joker, baby! You, you, that was your fault. I didn't do it at all this stream. That is all your fault. She was? She was worried sick! She should march straight on! What is, is that a real thing? No way. Okay. For a second I was like, did someone get that somehow? Cause it it showed up as a fuck as a link. I just had to check. It doesn't lead to anything. I just wanted to know. <laughs> I guess. Back! Your folks might be getting worried too. I'll walk you home. <laughs> I need to talk with Nelly about work anyway. Beck glanced toward Luca. Hey, Beck, I don't think you should go home with this guy. I don't think he, you should let him lead you home. I guess all's well that ends well. I'll introduce you to Rolo tomorrow. Sure. Glad he's okay. Okay, well, couldn't stop her. If she ends Rolo up dead, we know what safe. happens. Who's that fucking freak? A wave of relief washed over Luca. 
which was quickly replaced by a sense of dread. Yeah, you're about to get fucking murdered by your grandma. Gran is going to kill me. That's what I just said, actually. If he hurried, he might just make it home before sundown. Chapter 4. Okay. Our harvest awaits. Chapter 4. Luca took a deep breath and gingerly opened the door, stealing himself for Gran's wrath. We got 40 minutes. I feel like if we finish Chapter 4, that'll be about three streams to get this game done, depending. Maybe two if we rush through it next stream, but I don't. we don't need to rush. Um, oh, also, the people who made Celeste, which, by the way, I have a Celeste tattoo, if you didn't know. Um, the people who made Celeste, they just released another, like, kind of smaller game that's based on, like, the 64, like, Nintendo 64 games called Celeste, Celeste 64. It seems short, like, an hour or so. It's not, like, a sad game. I mean, Celeste is. So, like, technically, if we want to play Celeste, that would be, like, a good game for this month. But the 64 game isn't. So I'm not going to play it unless I have like an hour free at the end of stream and I don't know what to do. Like an hour, hour and a half, maybe two. Then I will play that game. Otherwise, we'll do it right after February. I also like, or February, sorry. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I, it's such a stupid name. I just wanted to stream. So I got a name. <laughs> but um, what was I going to say? I was low-key tempted to stream Celeste. But I don't replay games, and I've already finished it. So I was thinking maybe I make it a sub goal, and if you guys want to watch me play through all of Celeste, I'll do it f for like a certain amount of subs, whatever, or something. Maybe dono goal or something. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. I just I, I do like the game. It's just I don't really replay games that much. Gran, I'm home. Everything's fine. Gran, everyone's dead. Is she outside? Grant, I know I wasn't supposed to go anywhere. I was just helping look for Rolo. Rolo, Rolo, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when she comes for you? There's a book here. The book? Okay, we saw the book earlier. Grant, Roxy came over. She was worried about him, so I figured you wouldn't mind if I helped look for him. It turned out Rolo is safe and sound. We're gonna see her dead body in here. Luca was alone. The house was empty. So Grant's not back yet. I guess it's a good thing. Nothing to do now but sleep, I guess. Oh boy. Luca was sitting by the pond. This is not looking good for Luca, bro. I... Okay. Listening to small waves lap against a rock. His father sat in a folding chair in front of him. Without turning, he spoke. Why don't you grab me some nice bait? Sure thing, Dad. Luca hopped over to the tackle box and popped open the lid. Inside was a rolling, buzzing mass. We're fishing with bees? Luca's father gave a warm chuckle. Well, you catch more fish with bees than honey. Pick us out a good one. Luca closed his eyes and plucked out a bee. He could feel its wings struggle between his finger and thumb. Holding it at arm's length, he hurried over. His father deftly baited the hook and examined his work. Interesting choice. With a practiced flick of the wrist, the line buzzed in a graceful arc. The water accepted it without a splash or ripple. The wrong choice. But I respect it. The pond began to freeze over. Sometimes we oh, gotta shit. make the wrong choice before we can make it right. Pallid ice propagated across the still surface with an alarming speed. Luca scrambled back as the ground beneath him turned cold. Dad? I don't understand. Sorry, kiddo. Understanding isn't always part of the deal. The relentless ice shot through the fishing line toward his father. Dad, look out! His father casually wound the reel. None of it's your fault, you know. Never was. Dad, we have to go! Luca grabbed his father's shoulders, trying to pull him away. Please, you have to run! The ice crackled as it spread across his father's hands. That's the thing about fishing, Luca. His chest began to crystallize. You toss your hook in, and you never know what you're gonna pull out. You never know what you're gonna do. What now? A shock of searing cold ran up Luca's arms. Sorry. He gave one last desperate tug. He gave one last desperate what now? The Sorry. The backwards in a single frozen mass. Uh, why does anyone watch me? I'm so Luca worst. tried to stop the momentum, but it was too late. 
He watched the icy form of his father slam into the hard ground, shattering into a thousand pieces that crowded around his feet. Dad, I don't understand. What does all this mean? The gentle rustle of leaves was the only reply. Damn, that was rough. Oh, hi, Sophia. <laughs> Luca's eyes struggled to focus on the walkie-talkie. Is that the same thing? I'm scrolling up. Yeah, it's danger. It's danger. Okay, 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 okay. Back from eating dinner, I just drank tea. Oh my god, that's not dinner, but welcome back, I guess. I guess I can't judge you, I've had boba for dinner, but still. What time is it? Oh, the boba place closed at midnight. I just realized I won't be able to have boba for the next- Unless I get it before stream. Anyway. <laughs> sorry, I got so distracted. Rolo? Square, 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 square. Square, square. I'm not reading all that. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> Luca! Rolo, is that you? Luca! There? Oh, it's the middle of the night. Luca, thank God. Listen, I don't know how long this thing will work down here. D down here? Lolo's voice was coming through more clearly now. Why does it take Twitch a billion years for the message to pop up? Sophia, it's because your Wi-Fi is so... I don't know what it is. Your Wi-Fi is impossible. Whenever we video chat, it takes... The delay between us talking is like... 10 seconds like it's so difficult to talk like it's so bad i don't know i don't know i don't know maybe your room just has bad wi-fi or something because i don't know i feel like you'd be used to it if you just generally had bi bad wi-fi i think your room just has bad wi-fi or something anyway but some words were still just static listen to me someone grabbed me yesterday my wi-fi is hang on Hang on. Let's do a quick speed test because I haven't done it in a while. But my Wi-Fi is... It's not my Wi-Fi. <laughs> I don't know why. We somehow managed to just get insane Wi-Fi. Like, we always had kind of like, eh. And then the there was one guy who showed up and fixed it. And just comp... 400 up. 420 up. Oh my gosh. 427 up and like 700 down okay all right it's going down now but it's like 590 600 stabilizing around like yeah 600 580 okay okay 562 so 400 up 500 down so it's not my wi-fi <laughs> yeah some guy like one of the workers for like our uh, the place that we pay for wi-fi um he came by and just completely fixed it. I don't know what he did. I guess he just decided, he, maybe he's just like an actually good worker because I feel like some people just don't care. And he just completely fixed it and optimized our Wi-Fi. And so, yeah, <laughs> it's, I haven't had Wi-Fi problems in like years because of it. Anyway, sorry, let's keep going. Listen to me, someone grabbed me yesterday. What, the man in the hazmat suit? It was, took me some sort of, I think I'm underground. Underground? Are you okay? Kinda. They seem more interested in f for now, at least. Mr. Kerry said you made it back home safe. Kerr, no. F tr trust. He's. Hold on, someone's coming. The signal went silent. I knew. I knew that freak was a freak. And also, Beck is dead. I know it, and I warned you. And he is the Joker, baby. I told you. Rolo? Rolo, where are Luca you? held still, waiting for a response. His pounding heartbeat marking the passage of time. Okay, I think they're gone. <laughs> Getting worse. I can barely Rolo's hear you. Voice began Damn, I feel like I'm on call with Sophia again. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Losing signal. Not much time. Mission, mission control. You need a... In the treehouse. The treehouse. With that, the signal died for good. What was he trying to say about the treehouse? What's at the treehouse? 
The, the, the antenna! Do you want me to use the antenna in the treehouse to get a better signal? Rolo, you're a genius! Luca grabbed the walkie-talkie and sprinted to the treehouse. Luca, do you realize that your fucking grandmother might be dead, maybe? Maybe... Anyway. Hey, Dad. Can we just talk? Okay. Guess I can't talk to my dead father about possibly dying soon and joining him. Luca heard a group of footsteps approaching. He dashed behind the bushes to avoid being spotted. Grandma. Oh my god, what are they all doing together? <laughs> so we all understand our roles. You can count on me. I still think we need more time. That wasn't the original plan. Mr. Tolliver paused, shifting his eyes to one side. We're all in danger now. I, for one, refuse to sit idly by while that danger persists. Refuse? Okay. Crow, calm down. <laughs> wait, which waitress lady is this? Wait, is this the British one? Oh, wait, it might be the British one. Bottle of water. Aram, I just can't be away about you. Mr. Tolliver took one long, quiet breath. You're right. You can count on me. I just wish we could have made that deal with Eris Valentine. Her resources would have still come in handy. British one had short hair and flannel. Thanks, you're better at this than me. So which one is this? Did she have an accident or was she just kind of normal? As I said, I had no time to contact her after your call this morning. She's new, okay. Plans change. I'll give her a normal voice. How's Luca holding up? He's fine. We shouldn't lose sight of the fact that this is all... I know very well what all of this is for. We have no choice. Operation Spark Plug is a new objective. Are we in agreement? The three shared a determined look. Good. We'll reconvene after the festival. Well, Grandma's not dead. She might be evil. She might be a little funky, though. Gran? Why are you meeting with Mrs. Fratelli and Mr. Oliver late at, Tolliver late at night? Why are you here? Is that Bert? Eat my shorts. Hey, look up. Yeah. Oh, it's Don. Oh, that's no fun. It should have been Bert. Don, you scared me. How long have you been there? Oh, just a few minutes. Oh, wait. Oh, it's Dawn. Oh, no. My throat. Oh, no. Chad is going to be so mad. I, I can feel my throat hurting. I don't know if I can do this. I can't do this anymore, guys. <laughs> what do you think they're up to? <laughs> they mentioned the festival. <laughs> she got a phone call this morning and rushed out the door. She was either furious or terrified, or both. I will. Okay. Aren't you coming out? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be in so much pain tomorrow. I'm not talking to anybody at all for the rest of... <laughs> until tomorrow's stream. From now on, my voice will only be used for streams. I did it. I changed the sign. Splendid. Did anyone see you? I don't believe so. You were right. It was simple enough to just rearrange the letters. Odd choice for a prank, though. In situations like these, odd is good. The two boys shared a mischievous grin. I can't wait for everyone to see the big reveal. It should be quite memorable. Let's make ourselves scarce for now. What is happening? There's so much happening. All right, let's go over here. Hook up. We're gonna do what with, sorry.
Rolo, Rolo, are you there? I'm at the treehouse now, Rolo. Mr. Care said you were all right. What happened out there? <laughs> Bye, I have to listen to Glee and complete homework. Do it. 11.59? You gave yourself 22 minutes? Horrible. Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> Dumbass. Dang it, Rolo, where are you? What the fuck? Who's there? Luca could only see a cloaked shape behind the rocket. Let it be Bert. I've got weapons in here, so you'd better come out he right now. He strained to hear as a muffled voice began. Yeah. Weapons? Yeah, 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 yeah. How could you hurt something that's already dead? Fear gripped Luca's throat. Who are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you don't recognize me? I guess I don't even recognize myself anymore. Luca stared at the ground for a moment, trying to place the dampened voice. The figure shifted slowly from behind the rocket, revealing itself to Luca. Is that my dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Monster. <laughs> now they hunt me like the beast I am. Iggy. Luca reached over empathetically. Wait, who the fuck is Iggy? Iggy's tone jolted to dejected anger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who the fuck is Iggy? Which one's Iggy? Hang on. Like Azalea? I-G-G-Y. Why do I have a hinge match? It's not a match. It's someone texting me after like a week. <laughs> oh, it's the bully. Okay. Oh, it's the thing we turned him into. Guys, I get it now. <laughs> I forgot who he was. I G G Y. Anyway, don't touch me. <laughs> it's all Lucas slumped to the ground, overwhelmed by guilt. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to. I lost control. So you couldn't control yourself for a second. <laughs> no, I have to get to be like this forever. There must be a way to fix this. Oh. You're gonna be my savior? <laughs> Perfect little Luca saves the day with his positive attitude and the power of friendship. I... None of this matters. There's no time. They're after me. They chased me all through Weepwood. I only came in here to hide. Hide from who? Who's after you? Luca, Luca. Rolo? He's not safe, Luca. Rolo, where are you? The treehouse. I'm at I'm at the treehouse, Rolo. Where are you? No, Luca, the treehouse isn't safe. They said they were going to the treehouse. I was trying to tell you to stay away from the treehouse. Who said they're going to the treehouse? The clipboards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why did I tell you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Those perennial harvest wackadoos are after me. They've been chasing me, yelling questions at me. What sort of questions? Yeah, 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 they are seeing the same stuff they always yeah, do, yeah, 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 yeah. but it's different now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Less asking, more threatening. We're gonna figure this yeah, out, Iggy. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. thanks. Hello. I like how I turned myself into a villain because these perennial whack jobs are my voice. Is anyone present in this arboreal domicile? Yeah, 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 yeah. Crap. They found me. Luca, what's happening? Don't panic. You stay here and I'll I'll see what they want. I thought he just walked into the void. I didn't realize there was a balcony there. Hello, Mr. Van Horn. We would love to hear your thoughts. Do you have time for an informal chat? We will be brief. Your time is valuable to us. Uh, be down just a second. Of course, of course, of course, of course. We have a problem. Erm, um, that just happened. Sorry. It's just the dialogue is giving off Marvel vibes right now, boys. It's a good thing Sophia's not here. She likes Marvel. <laughs> I do too at times, but... I'm not a contrarian. I just have opinions. <laughs> that should be on a t-shirt, I think. That's... A, you know how... Anyway, anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. The story's interesting me, but I also just go on tangents all the time. We have a problem. 
Luca, you gotta get out of there. Who's out there? Is it them? Yeah, it's the clipboards. A bunch of them. How many? Maybe all of them? And yeah, you were right. They were saying the same stuff, but with the creepy knob, cracked a ten. Might young Iggy pre be present? We'd love to hear his thoughts. Run! Iggy slumped to his knees. I don't know what to do! I'm just so tired! Luca, what do we do? Luca grabbed the walkie-talkie and headed for the window. Follow my lead. Luca and Iggy climbed up the back of the treehouse to its roof, where Rolo had constructed his MCDC. The mission I know that band. Defense cannon. Oh, never mind. From behind the crowd of clipboards, William Kerr strode forward, a warm smile on his face. I fucking called it. The second he showed up, I gave him a fucking Joker voice, and then... You guys should have trusted me. Don't judge me missing words, by the way. I'm trying my best. I'm doing so many different voices. I also really like the voice that I gave new Iggy. I mean, Iggy, original Iggy was like Boston, but then I feel like when he got into a goop, he just became like, he lost the accent, but I think I like how I got him going. Iggy, there you are. You give us all a scare. Go away, just leave me alone. Oh, I'm sorry, Iggy, but no can do. Don't worry though, we're here to help. <laughs> Help? Yeah, 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 yeah. Then why are you chasing me? Look, can you talk some sense to your pal here? <laughs> Just look at him, he's not well. <laughs> What's wrong with him? What did that gunk do to him? <laughs> oh, well, that's a pretty honking big question, Luca. <laughs> All you need to know is that he's sick. He's real sick, Luca, and I just need you to let us up there and take care of him. You told me Rolo would be okay. That he was okay. That he was back at his place resting. He is. Poor fella just got a little lost. That's a lie. That is a hurtful thing to say, Luca. I thought we were buddies. Why? Because he lets you ramble on? Like what I could do? Nobody likes you, you creep. Her smile. Why don't you pop on down here so we can have a face to face? Yelling like this is going to give us all a heck of a sore throat. Yeah, man. I agree. A hundred percent. I have to do this for two more days. I'm out of water. No one's hydrated me, by the way. Thanks for your love and support. I see you. <laughs> and who wants that? Lucas' grip tightened on the MCDC. What did you do to Rolo, you liar? Well, shucks, Luca. The only tiny, teeny fib. I told you. I'm broke from the shouting. Oh, okay. That's fair. That's fair. I get that. Was that he was home? He is resting. And he is perfectly safe. For now, at least. What happens to him next is up to you, Luca. Look around. You're in quite a pickle. And I am the only person in the whole wide world who can help you. You get to decide how this ends. Luca's mind raced. He was caught in a trap. What do you do when there's no hope? He wiped his cheeks with a sleeve. I, Gigi, why? What are you gonna do, Sorry. Luca? I fucking knew that it would come in handy. Let's go, baby. Let's go blast these fools with my cannon. Let's go. Luca drew himself up and decided to take the only option they had We're probably going to get more options there soon. Because there's no way they just gave us one option for a turning point. He swung the mission control defense cannon around, aiming it confidently at the smirking face of William Kerr. You know what? It's probably not going to work because it's just like made of scraps and we're probably it's probably not going to work. And then, yeah. That's what's gonna happen. It's not gonna work, and then we're just gonna, like, die again, second time, by the way, and then get a new turning point thing that we can use. Anyway. Hey, 
Hey, Mr. Kurt. Luca summoned his most insolent demeanor. Rolo sends his regards. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that was all called for. More than a little rude. And just plain unsanitary. Luca, I really did think we were good pals. What a shame that it's come to this. Kerr turned his back on the two boys. End this. With a nonchalant wave of the hand, he made his exit. As the clipboards began to slowly advance on the treehouse, Luca looked to Iggy with resignation in his eyes. And this... This is why everyone should have guns. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry, I didn't say that. That's a joke. Did I just get two ad breaks in, in a row? Oh, no. You know what? It, tell, it notifies me that we're about to have an ad and then we're going to have an ad. That's why. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I just had one. I didn't. Anyway. The end. That escalated quickly. Maybe discretion was the better part of Valor here. Let's put a pin in this for now discretion was the better part of it okay yeah we could tickle there we could struggle let's struggle i feel like that would be good let's go and struggle so now we're going back to where um we got murdered by the this when we went alone to the warehouse the the little rab lab rat uh murdered us because we uh, clicked uh, change and we're gonna struggle this time this is a story about struggle Luca could hear a machine humming somewhere nearby okay he felt around wildly searching for something anything that could help his hands found a hard object maybe a tile he yanked it free lifting the cold stone let me go Luca swung the tile as hard as he could at the shape that still held fast to his leg. He heard the crack of glass as the stone hit the assailant's mask. With a muffled yelp, the hand let go. Luca was free and scrambled to the door. He never looked back once on the long run home. We made it home. Let's go. We didn't die. Chapter three. Let's go, baby. Everything's fine. The next morning, it was quieter than usual at the breakfast table. Now I'm realizing this says chapter three. But isn't that a different chapter still than the other chapter three? So is there still 11 chapters and they all go into different paths maybe? Anyway. Only the sound of silverware and chewing interrupted the awkward silence. Oh, maybe it's the same chapter. No, 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 because I remember this text. I finished jarring a big, a mess of jam last night. Uh-huh. So that'll need to get delivered into town today. Okay. So what did you and Rolo get up to yesterday? Oh, Rolo had things to do, so I just sort of poked around town. Poked around town. In this case, there was no Rolo. True. Okay. Oh, that's a whole different story. I've set the jam down by the front door. There's two batches to drop off. Mm-hmm. One for Mr. Tolliver at the Bag and Wag. Another for Mr. Vitelli at the diner. Oh, and Mr. Nuncreed. He said he wants some more. I suspected as much. Yes, he seems to have taken a particular interest in my... Pussy. Sorry. <laughs> some of my jokes just come... Sorry, didn't mean it that way. Some of my jokes just show up. And I just say them without thinking. And then I go, man, horrible. <laughs> Not even funny. <laughs> But funny to me. Anyway. There's some extras in the basket for that enthusiastic gentleman. Just make sure Fratelli and Tolliver get the one on tops. The ones on top. No problem. Off with you now while the day is still young. We've got 10 minutes left. I don't know how much we're going to get done in 10 minutes. Um, Technically, I don't have to stop like on the dot, but it's good if I do because my fucking throat hurts. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, wait, 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 I, I backed out. I didn't want to back out yet. I want to see... Okay, so... How do these chapters work? Wait, so... So, this turning point... Oh, chillin' shit again, then, and that, that leads to this branch. 
where I get to struggle. Okay, okay. And since I died at change, we didn't get a, another branch, but we might get another branch this time because we did struggle. I understand how this tree works now. So I feel like them having 11 chapters, that sounds like a, that sounds a bit like a lie. Because I feel like if there's 11 chapters that go all the way up the tree, first of all, it wouldn't fit on that page. And second of all, that's insane. Having that many options. I doubt... They say this game's short, so... Short as in like four to five hours, so knowing me, it'll be like nine hours. Hello, it's Juniper Hartford. Before you hang up, just hear me out. I have a business proposition. The simple matter is we both have the same problem that needs solving. Very well, we can meet tonight. Ooh. Oh boy. Alright, Nun Creed, Fratelli, and Tolliver. Now, Fratelli and Tolliver were the two people that she was hanging out with on that one moment, if you remember. Also, he's back, and he's not being imprisoned in a little dungeon. So, she said that she wanted... What if she's running a drug operation? She said she wanted those jams to, like, the ones on top to go to Fratelli and Tolliver. And those are the two people she's hanging out with. And they have, like, a business proposition. And they have a thing. What if she's just, like, what if she's just, like, a really cool grandma, you know? Maybe she's not evil. Okay. No, I know you said that, Carl. I'm just saying, like, oh, look, he's here. I've, we haven't seen him in so long because he was, like, fucking being, like, I don't know. Tested on? Who knows? Ooh. Turned- uh, maybe- yeah, maybe he was being experimented on with goop. Sorry about yesterday, Rock's gonna be so annoying. Ooh. But good news, no more boring chores for me to do today. Ooh. Did you make it to the old Valentine hair house? Where- where- hair house? Warehouse? So, what'd you find? Ooh. Give me the dirt! Something happened. There was someone else there. Ooh. What? Who was it? Was it aliens? Ooh. I knew it would be aliens. No. Zombies. No. Alien zombies? What else could it possibly be? Hello. I gotta deliver these into town first. We can catch up after. Ooh. Is this a whole thing? It sounds like a whole thing. Yeah, we shouldn't talk about it here. Meet me at the treehouse tonight. I'm not sure what this treehouse is that you speak of. <sighs> meet me at mission. Meet me at mission control. Roger that, space cadet. All right. I'm just bouncing along. I'm doing just fine. Hello, dog. Wait, watch your step. Oh, sorry. There was a whole family of bales here. They've gone missing. I thought they just sort of wandered around. Everyone has a home, Luca. Even Beatles. Luca checked the soles of his sandals. I think we're okay. It's weird that they're gone. They went missing when the festival preparations began. You think the noise scared them off? Something like that. Just watch where you step, okay? Alright. What's up, bitch? You can tell those jerks it doesn't matter how many boxes they pile up. I ain't moving. Humph. Okay. Here we go. I don't know what they look like. I forget. All the teenagers hang out here. The stoner and the Brit and the uh, normal. Um, Piper? Oh, hey, Luca. What's up? You know it's summer break, right? You're gonna give this to me again? Shut up. Okay. Oh, gosh. Gosh darn, bruv. Uh, oh, there's a child. Hello, child. How do you keep the ice cream cold? We keep them on ice? Where do you get the ice from? I don't know, somewhere cold? How do they keep somewhere cold cold? Oh, it's Bert! I could have done the voice! Hang on, guys. We're gonna r run it back. Run it back. Run it back. Please. Please! I just want- <laughs> I gotta remember what he looks like now. Ah! Uh, 
I think this is uh, one of the guys who the pink stuff, stuff, Tolliver was stuff meticulously There it is. Apples. I told you. Tolliver. There we go. More accurately, Hiram Tolliver was meticulously shining one. Hello? Eep. With a yelp, Mr. Tolliver fumbled the apple, flailing at the air as it fell. Oh, sorry. Ah, no bother, no bother. He leaned forward and lowered his voice. B bro, she got <laughs> ASMR with it. <laughs> I see you have something for me? Yes, Grant had some jam I'm supposed to give you? He leaned in a bit further. Okay. Uh, jam? Yeah, these ones on top. She wrote your name on them. Mr. Tolliver leaned back, speaking loud enough for anyone to hear. Ah, uh, yes. The jam. Thank you so much for delivering this jam to me. He reached forward and snapped up the jars of jam, giving Luca a little wink. It's drugs, guys. They're not evil. They just want to have some fun. I shall put it on my store shelves post-taste. Uh, okay, I should finish my deliveries. Uh -huh. Of course. Uh -huh. Of course. He leaned in for a final whisper. Of course. Not to be weird, but I'm enjoying this ASMR. It's good. Thanks, Beatrix. You're a real one. Oh my god, the door's open. Oh my god. Mommy? Sorry. My bad, guys. If I could just be left alone, young Mr. Van Horn. Oh, sure. Sorry to, sorry to bother you. It's just that... Mr. Kerr has asked me to make the opening speech at the festival. Being mayor and all, you must expect me to be a charismatic speaker. I have a short essay due today. It just hit midnight and I've been informed... That's not a good thing. <laughs> the truth is, I'm terribly nervous. I really don't think I'm cut out for this sort of thing. Cut out for being mayor or for public speaking? Both, I suppose. I re never really chose any of these. It's more of a duty to my family. Ha, <laughs> he said duty. For our legacy. That sounds like a heavy burden. Hi, Crow, what's up? As for the festival, just speak from your heart. I'm sure it'll be great. Any place I can get some new charms around here? Luca Ooh. squinted at the faded photo of him and his mom at the diner. Memories of that day came flooding back. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Okay, thank you for not allowing me to talk to every single one of them, because I would have. This kid is acting way too chipper and normal for what happened to him last night. Yeah, no, for real. <laughs> He went through a lot of traumatizing shit. Alright, nothing to nothing to do. I'm ready to help, mama! Alright, little buckaroo. I'm getting a text. It's not a text, it's also telling me to do my essay. I have a lot of systems set up to make sure I don't forget stuff this semester. It's up to us to feed these folks while Mrs. Fratelli is away. I've got to deal with the inventory before I can start cooking. Do you think... Do you think you can handle taking some orders in the meantime? Yes, Mama! I don't know why she turned into Dora, but she did. God, Zooks, they've shrunk the waitstaff. Jeff slapped the table and gave Luca a toothy grin. Haha, <laughs> God, Zooks! <laughs> Fucking freak. How's your pops doing? He's been pretty busy these days. You know, six feet under. I know the feeling. <laughs> Tell him that fishing rod he ordered should be ready next week, will ya? Sure thing. I've been in the mood for something sweet. You got a burger that can satisfy a sweet tooth? A, a sweet burger? Yeah, and top it off with some grilled cactus. Grilled cactus? The heart wants what it wants. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, remember when Sophia said that she was leaving at uh to finish uh something due at midnight? Yeah, she didn't get it done. <laughs> Who would have thought? Anyway. I like when my IRLs show up in in stream. They're great. Uh chill succulent indulgent. We want indulgent. Let's get indulgent with it. 
It was sweet and then cactus. Succulent. Okay, what are the other things? Bacon, lettuce. Okay. There we go. Got you, baby girl. Here you go. Here's your order. I call it the sweet and stabby. Ha, now that's a burger with a bite. With bite. Shut up. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Aren't you a little young to be waiting tables? Yeah, but there's no child labor laws around here, so that's kind of on you to fix, right? You're the mayor. <laughs> Could you do something about it, please? <laughs> I'm just helping out. Ah, uh, <laughs> Lucas said basically what I was trying to say, you know? <laughs> Ah, uh, my father had me hustling when I was your age, too. Father always says children are to be sales, pulling a family ever forward. That doesn't sound very fun. There's plenty of time for fun. For instance, father and I have always make time to have lunch together once a month. Luca glanced at the empty seat across from Gus. Should I come back? What was that? Oh, Sophia, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh, no. It turns out Father was too busy to have lunch today. I'll just go ahead and eat alone. Oh. The silver lining is, without him around, I can have my usual. A nice stack of cold cuts topped with a pile of sloppy chili. All right, what's a fucking cold cut now? Well, now I gotta search it up. I don't know what a cold cut is, dude. Cold cut. Images. Lunch meat. It, the first one? First one, thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. It's that, apparently. And this looks like the chili. Yeah. That's the chili. Perfect. <laughs> Was that smile not good enough for you? That's fair. I don't really like the Twitch emails that much. I like normal ones. Um, yeah, we have a Discord and stuff. If if anyone, if if you guys want to bring people into the community, feel free. We're going to be streaming every, every fucking day for this month. So if you have nothing to do at night and you have no friends and you have no loved ones and uh, you hate fun like going out then you could be here instead <laughs> i'm a really good salesman here you are cold cuts with steaming hot chili on top i call it the hot and cold that's perfect thank you okay hello hi roxy luca i'm helping well hopefully your work ethic will rub off on rollo what can i get you Hmm, I'm not really feeling like a burger. How about the chicken sandwich with bacon on top? Coming right up! Bro, I want a burger now. Is Five Guys open? Um, it's probably not, right? It's midnight. That's like not a good time to order fast food. Okay, it's not. Yeah, and the other burger places are not good to get right now, so we're not going to do that. So, chicken. This is chicken, I assume, right, guys? And what was it? Oh, fuck. What was it? Was it bacon? Does anyone remember? Thank you. It was bacon. <laughs> Appreciate it. Here you go. I call it the Love Me Tenders. Nice. All right. Mom, I did your work for you. You're welcome. <laughs> Looks like we're missing a few things. Why don't you run out and grab some more ingredients? Okay, I'll be right back. W were you going to tell me what the agree? Oh, I don't have to actually get them. Oh, here's your uh, drugs. Well, if it isn't my favorite little jam runner. Hey, Mrs. Fratelli. Look at you. She leaned forward and pinched Lucas' cheek. Sorry, frite, 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 frite. Is it frite? Anyway, I feel whenever there's two L's, 
I start to think, but like I feel like you wouldn't have like ELL, would you? So I think I was right the first time. You're all skin and bones. Is your grand not feeding you? She is, it's just I understand. You know, I taught your mama how to cook back in the day. You may not even remember, but you and her used to help out in the diner. Dude, that food that our little guy made looked real good. And honestly, it's making me hungry. <laughs> and I don't know what to do about that. See that picture over there? That's you helping your mama back in the day. Have you n never seen the words ella or eos? Yeah, but that's like different. Fratei... Maybe it's like the E-L-L-I, really, that's the issue, right? It doesn't sound right. Like, it doesn't sound like a word that you can say. I don't know what it is about it. Look, I'm not a mathematician. I'm playing a fucking video game on a, fr on a Thursday night. I almost said Friday, because it's like Friday for me, because I have no class tomorrow. Thursday night. Yeah. That's you helping your mama back in the day. So cute, running around in your little apron, taking orders. I didn't say it was Spanish! <laughs> Did I? I might have. I didn't... M fuck you. <laughs> Welcome back, Sophia. We're talking about... Language. Linguistics. Someone calls Tom Scott. He's retired from YouTube, but call him anyway. Phone him up. <sighs> the whole situation just breaks my heart. What happened with Eleanor? Thanks for the new word. I've got a feeling she's out there somewhere, yearning to be with you again. I sound... Okay! Freaking pepino! Alright, that means pepper, but... <laughs> that means pepper. <laughs> All I'm saying is that it's difficult to say the word. With E-L-L-I, it's not working. Fratei does not sound right. <laughs> what do you mean? It's, it's, what do you mean? Cu cucumber. No, no, no. No, 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 It's pepper. <laughs> anyway. Few things in this world can keep a mother from her son. Luca shifted the basket uncomfortably. Oh, yes, let's see Mrs. here. Mrs. Fratelli lifted the cloth and inspected the jam. Ah, they even have my name on them. How powerful. She carefully lifted that out powerful. her jars of jam. Hey, um, Sophia, how many points do you have? <laughs> what are the chances you have 1250 points and can do a little shell snipe? <laughs> anyway. She carefully lifted out her jam jars of jam. You tell your grand hello for me, Luca. Will do. All right, now to go give the freak. Is it going to tell me to do it again? Oh, fuck off right now. Okay. Thankfully, it doesn't actually make me do it again. Why is it telling me to do it now, though? Okay. Alright. <laughs> I don't know what that means either. There's a point system. I'll show you later. I love when my IRLs show up and... Why are you... Okay, it's telling me to do it and then it's telling me not to do it. I'm just... I'm confused. Maybe I did it too early. Maybe I should just talk to uh, Fratelli as soon as possible. Alright, now we gotta go talk to the freak. And we're going to be done soon, because it's 12.10. I'm just trying to find a good stopping point. Got some jam for you, Mr. Nuncreed. Luca, you seem... Oh, fuck. What was this freak's name? Er, name? Voice. Luca, you seem chipper. Well, aside from being on delivery duty, it's a nice day. Mr. Nuncreed eyed Luca for a moment, then nodded in agreement. That's the... Yeah, Sophia, that's the point system. So if you didn't waste 300 there, there's this one point that you can use that's called Shell Snipe, and it lets you mute someone for two minutes. And it's fun! It's good! And you should use that on Crow when you get enough points for it. I suppose it is! So, how, do you want your jam? Hell right! Usually Juper, Juniper drops it off herself. I guess she's busy today. Anyway, this is my last delivery for the day. Oh wait, I literally gave him the wrong voice. <laughs> anyway, this is my last delivery for the day. Oh, in that case... Nun Creed snatched the basket from Luca. I'll hold on to the basket until the next time I hear Gran. You fucking... 
bitch. It's a good thing I gave them to him last. What a piece of shit. I hope he gets murdered at the end. Remember when we played Quantum Break and I kept telling you I wanted that one character dead in the end and then he died in the end and I cheered? I'm hoping that happens here. We'll see. I definitely didn't waste any points. It is not fun to yell at me. It's fun to mute Crow because Crow is spreading propaganda about Pepino meeting Cucumber. <laughs> hey you, anchovies <sighs> or pip pi pineapple? Oh, what? Uh, don't think. Uh, Just answer. Pineapple. Why? How old are you? Twelve? Perfect. Follow me. Who are you? Anyone ever tell you you to ask too many questions? Just try to keep up, okay? Okay. I feel like I'm playing Pokemon Go where they run off without me and then I have to chase them. Bike is back. Let's go. What just happened? Well... Did I say Pokemon Go or just Pokemon? I meant just Pokemon. Hey, what a crazy coincidence. I just met a new friend I was just telling you about. Oh, that's wonderful. Yep, we just hit it off. Oh, really? Get this, his favorite pizza topping in the whole world is pizza. It's pineapple. Jesus Christ. <laughs> How'd you come to the conclusion that Pepino is pepper, though? Uh, just Google Translate, you know? We wouldn't have met her this timeline because Rolo wasn't missing. True, yeah. She showed up. She showed up. I pull up. How about at the after part? Anyway. Oh, my pizza has pizza on it. Dude, I want pizza now. I'm kind of hungry. Can one of my IRLs who are in chat uh, drop off food at my house? That'd be pretty sick. Anyway. <laughs> oh, um. And what's your new little friend's name? Beck locked eyes with Luca. The look on her face was equal parts expectant and desperate. Luca Van Horn. Nice to meet you. I'm Nellie and this is Alona. We're Beck's parents. I just realized, are they lesbians? Do we have a lesbian couple? Beck gave as Luca the, a as in the game. <laughs> Crow had the same, the realization at the same time as me, even though we saw these two earlier, never pieced it together. Beck gave Luca a quick nudge. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah, Beck told me all about you. Already feels like we've known each other forever. So you both can stop obsessing about me making friends. Oh, darling, we never doubted you. It's just that for children with fewer than five close friends, the probability of a stunted development doubles. Oh, I'm fucked. Well, one down, four to go, I guess. What Nelly means is that we just want this move to be as easy on you as possible. You can relax. A friend has been friended. This calls for a celebration. Luca, you must join us for dinner tonight. Dinner? Wow, another coincidence. I actually already asked him. He said he would love to. It's just wonderful. In that case, we should pick up some groceries. Groceries. I don't know why I did that. It just felt right in the moment. You two don't go into too much trouble now. Beck, you fuck. You really dragged- You dragged me into this. Wow, I can't believe that worked. Thanks a ton. You're welcome? I owe you one. My moms are great and all, but they can be a bit much sometimes. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Do you just whip? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Give me a sec. Did someone say lesbians? Ugh. Hey, mamas. All right. <laughs> Sorry. There was <laughs> every okay, every lesbian I know in real life, uh, or bisexual, or like any gay person I know who's a woman or like <laughs> feminine, <laughs> they have said to me at some point in our time of knowing each other that I give off the vibes of a hey mama's lesbian, and then I didn't know what that meant. So, first time I asked someone, and they showed me what a hey mama's lesbian is. And it's literally just a TikTok e-boy. So I felt a little attacked, actually. <laughs> I was <laughs> I was like, excuse me. Um, what do you mean by that? Why are you calling me that? Whoever says that hates you, that's what I'm saying. Bisexual feel to feel feel. Feel to meal right here. <laughs> do you count yourself as femme though? 
you literally say f- female to male. So you, I don't think you count then, do you? Do you think you count? Also, I kind of meant like IRL, but you know. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. But then wait, why do you say female to male? I'm so confused. I don't know how the abbreviations work. Oh, okay. Mess most of the time. Gotcha. Well, I meant IRL mostly anyway, because they hang out with me all the time. You do count here, Sophia, but also you haven't, I, like, I, you haven't known me, like, long enough to hate me. That's what it really is, I think. Femme presenting, got you, got you. Understood. I haven't got the honkers on yet. I haven't got the honkers on yet. Um, <laughs> our house is a little co- co- cottage <laughs> next to that big mansion place. Wait. You live on the Valentine's State? Yeah, that's the spot. Meet me by the big creepy gate. Don't be late. Or I'm back to square one in this whole friend grift. <laughs> Great, see you there. Should we end soon? Tr- Want to trade? Yeah, sure. Perfect. I feel like we should end soon. I haven't had water because I ran out of water because I drank 32 ounces of water this stream. Um, It might have been closer to like 28 maybe ounces but your EP yes sorry please I'm EP uh you don't give off the hey mama's lesbian vibes but please ne- never say hey mama's again <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you I had that bit ready I was like surely at some point we're gonna see lesbians in a game <laughs> and I was like I was like I'm gonna get my hat I just broke my chair did I Nope. Oh, yep, I did. I just broke my chair a little bit. Um, where did this, where did this come off from? What the fuck? Oh, found it. Anyway, um, <laughs> I knew that at some point, uh, lesbians would show up and that would be like a thing. And so I was prepared. Anyway, um, <laughs> I think I'm going to end here because I'm getting, I need drink and I need, it has been saved. It was saved at 12.17. I hope that that was, like, right now, so we don't have to redo anything. Anyway, I'm going to save here, uh, and I'm going to hit out. How many? We got four achievements out of the ten. So that should be... That's good, right? That's, that's pretty good. We'll be back tomorrow for day two of February, and, uh, yeah. YouTube, thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, thanks. See ya. <laughs> that was such a lazy ending. I, just, like, gave up. Goodbye.